Yo, what's up, everybody? Dope as y'all here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Fuck, can we run it back? I started it like a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> hey, so don't do that shit. That shit's fucking bad mushroom shit. Ew. Sorry. Ew. Uh. Beep. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? This is the Dope As Usual podcast. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're driving, please be safe. If you're at home chilling, welcome to the show. Either way, guys, thank you so much. This is the podcast. We're here to talk about life, accomplishments, problems, drugs, and everything in between. Today, we have a very special guest, the most requested person of all fucking time. No <laughs> lie. guys. This, you guys won't oh. s- fucking stop tagging us. I promise you we see it. We see it. I promise you. See every single one for sure. Here it is, guys. Here it is. The the, the person you've all been waiting for, Eric Khan. Thank you so much. Dude, thank you so thank, much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you I so much. Great uh, introduction to LA. Thank you, bro. It's I know like how long you've been here. It's eight days, nine days, maybe. You hear that? He moved here eight days ago. Ooh. Let's go, bro. Oh, Fresh LA experience. Yeah. I love it. It's like one of my first things on the checklist, and I'm glad I got to check it off right nice, now. This is dope. Man. This is dope. We fucking started off with a dev. Sorry, I'm... I'm I'm fucking high. Your rig is awesome as shit. Dude, thank you. Love uh, that little thing. So, real quick, straight before we start, for maybe out there, like, I don't know who this person is. This is a different audience. This maybe they're not a weed audience. What do you do? What 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 if someone asks you, what do you do for work? What do you say? Because it's hard. Right. It's That's hard. funny because when I was in Texas, I used to tell them different things. So Photographer. But now I'm like, yeah, I would do like uh, videography or marketing. I would say marketing a lot. It's kind of weird because it would you you would get different um, reactions. So yep. when what I kind of marketing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> bro. Especially when I got my car, people would just like normally ask me like, "Hey, what do you do? Like, you're so young. Like, how do you drive this shit?" And then you would get different reactions. So I would say like YouTuber a couple of times, and they'd be like, you know, in the little snarf like, "Oh, pff, like you said what? YouTuber, like YouTuber." Oh, so yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, pff, like yeah, whatever, like YouTuber." And then you would say marketing, and they're like, "Oh yeah, like oh. I could see, yeah, okay, I could see that." You're like, yeah, "Yeah, a little something on top." I do multiple things. Then you could say like entrepreneur, or like I own a business, and then they're like just super wet about it, and it's fucking, it's weird to see <laughs> the difference. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's super weird to know, like, see the difference when it's all just like yeah. You say like, YouTuber to most people, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. It's it's hard. I mean, because you do more than YouTube too. Mm-hmm. Now you have your own business. Mm-hmm. So how'd you get into that? I, I think it's awesome. You Everybody you. should that's doing videos and has a following. Start something that's more than yourself. That's ig- almost exactly what it was. It was the whole premise behind it was like, oh, oh my God. Thank you, sir. Uh, the whole premise behind it was like, I wanted to create something that people loved that wasn't like Eric Khan, that didn't have like a face of mine to it type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That have like, you would like the products, you like the company, you like the brand, the vision, whatever, without knowing who the CEO is or who runs it. Like someone sends you the image, someone sends you the page, someone sends you their little product and then you're like, that's dope. Like I want to buy that. Like I don't yeah. care who made it. You know what I mean? So that's what I kind of like the vision behind the whole brand was. And it's called, a no- how do you say it? Anova. Anova. I did say yeah. it right. Okay. Anova. Yes. So you're selling, I, I mean, I saw your dabbers and all your mm-hmm. stuff that you're starting to sell. Is it, how are you curating this shit? <laughs> I know it's like it's like marble on right. top on one of your dad. I fucked yeah. with that. That was very fucking cool. I yeah. like that a lot. Thank you. Thank you. The whole premise behind it is like bringing really nice glass to an audience that might not like it and at like a relatively affordable price point because a lot of people are smoking just really china glass, really cheaply made glass. It's probably like kind of bad labor, maybe bad ethics, bad whatever behind it, but this whole brand premise is like you can get accessories, you can get really dope one-off things or really rare things that are made proudly like in America by these artists, like by hand, like they're trying to like come up. And then that's where the collaboration comes on because they really want to like, I have artists that I hit up and that's really how it it sources. So I have a page on my section or I have a section on my page that's like, if you're an artist, hit me up if you want to collab. And that's how I source a little bit of the collaboration. Yeah, but a lot of it is like, just hitting DMs. It's like, yo, dude, I really like what you do. Like, I spend hours a day just on Instagram, like, looking fucking at super cool glass and, like, what kind of, like, the vision that I want. And I'll just DM them, hey, do you do wholesale? Are you down to, like, do this? 
and then let's like oh, split a little something and it's like yeah and i just line up like week by week by week and i have like hella inventory set up and these artists are just like yo that's so smart because you don't have to have a fucking warehouse you don't have to have nothing like that yes dude i just, just use i use my garage for a while in <laughs> my apartment <laughs> and that's, no, that's how it starts out, yeah. that's how that's how we start yeah that's it's like a picture of it that's i remember it there's a there's a photo of like jeff bezos working in like a garage in a garage and yeah. It's like, yeah in this little pan that's how it starts man i just want to take this little picture yeah i'm saying like you since you're the one that's can't see yeah, that since you're the one that's uh, basically collabing with these people to get it out to the masses because you mm -hmm. have the audience and you're like, well, I fuck with that heavily. How can we get that more affordable for people? Right. It's, it's a win-win for both sides. Yes, exactly. And, I mean, and they get three. their art, like, that's the whole thing. Like, they want the exposure, too. You know, they want their art seen by more people. Like, who doesn't? Like, they're that's really sense. proud of their stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it's like the people get what they want at a good price. They get exposed to more awesome glass they might have not have been exposed to before. They expose these artists. It helps these artists like make a living if they're trying to do that or if they already do, like gets them a nice order. And it's like, I think it's a win-win for everybody, you know? Yeah. Sick to say, I didn't know that because when I saw you come out with so many things, I'm like, fuck, you have to manufacture all this shit. Yeah, no, hell That's no. why I was like, you don't have to have a fucking lathe. You don't have to do yeah, that. No, it's, no, no. That's the way to start because then eventually... You'll have everybody like, does the home the home product right, some like, in house like yeah, another products exactly you're gonna yeah. have to eventually because mm -hmm. it's gonna get to a point where it's popular enough where people want oh what what about the basic one and that's how Supreme started right yeah see the whole thing so like, <coughs> this whole I just completed like the preseason I want to say of Anova which was like the weekly drops and shit so the season one is gonna be the what I season? really wanna yeah, yeah 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 I like that thank you thank you so the, the whole the whole um like the shebang of what I want to know to be is really a streetwear brand. Cause I'm going to come out with some like crazy clothing. Uh, actually Attila helped me outsource it. So a guy, good shit. Yeah. 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 He's uh, making some really dope clothing, like exactly how I want it. Like exactly like stitching the size, the fit, like every Don't single thing that I can them. detail. Yes, exactly. And, uh -huh. um, I wanted to create a brand almost like Kith, which is one of my favorite brands or like Supreme or something where they have super dope accessories and you like those, but like the clothing stuff, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So and it's like, so that's the brand start. Yeah. And it's going to be sick. Good shit. Yeah, it's the first thing I noticed when, when you were wearing that. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. Thank they, you. Yeah. they make bomb shit. And you're the only, one of the few people I've seen that constantly rocks it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ronnie Fig is like the little CEO of his. And I really rock with like his vision. I saw some stuff with it back in the day. And I was like, he's dope. Like, nice. I wanna, he's like a big inspiration for sure. Yeah, dude, I wanted to talk to you about that because I know so many. There's so many people that follow us between both of us. Mm -hmm. And they're probably the same crowd too. But there's so many people that follow us. And... I mean, you probably get thousands of comments. Oh, I want to start this. That'd be cool. I think I have an idea for a business. You just started it, right? Yeah. Just went just for like, it. You just have to go for it and just try it. Yeah. It was just like, fuck it. And it's we'll a perfect thing like, like I did with the clothes. Like, let's just try it. Let's just try it. And you have yes. to keep trying, keep trying. Exactly. And 100%. if you're not successful right off the bat, like crazy success, successful, you don't have to be down and be like, oh, well, this shit's not going to work. It takes time, but you have Thanks. a built in following too. Yeah. So it's like you're seizing the perfect opportunity. A hundred percent. How many exactly products right. come with a, a cult following already? You know what Not I mean? Like many, it, it works bro. well, yeah. right? Uh huh. It's pretty fucking awesome, dude. Like it's, having people just support you like that, you know, it's like a crazy feeling. Like what? Yeah. It's fucking, and, and it's weird to be able to talk to somebody else that go like, Hey, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? <laughs> you, know, you, you know, when like, people do this shit, I'm like, Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it's cause <laughs> it's a rare <laughs> thing to be able to like, what do you do? It's so complicated. Yeah, do a couple things. I do a few things. Mainly but what I'm known weed, for is say. smoking weed. <laughs> or so how did you get the start? Because Marty was literally asking me, he's like, "So how long has it been you on YouTube?" I'm like, you know what? Let's just talk to him. Let's just talk nice. to him and ask exactly because yeah. I know people. How many times have you done like a story and then three months later, some for eight months straight, they're asking about that what you answered thing. already? Like, actually, there's a video I just put out. And you feel not, like a, yeah. you're going to feel like a yeah. dick for saying, it, but you're like, yeah, it's not your fault. Like, yeah, just check this video yeah. out. It explains the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for people that haven't done that or haven't got the answer back or the mm -hmm. question, what did you do? How'd you start this? I know you're just like all of us smoking weed in mm -hmm. high school, doing your thing. Right. It has to. I mean, that's where everyone stems from. Mm -hmm. And then what did you do? Because you're in a, you're in a new. You're in a different like generation than I am, right? Because right. you're how old? 22. See? Yeah, 22. I'm 31. And I know it's like, it seems like not that long, but it is a long time. Dude, yeah. It's almost two a decade, high schools. Like, yeah, it's two high school classes. Right yeah. Here. It's fucking it's long. It's a big deal. It's a, Definitely. Big, it's a long time. So <laughs> you grew up in the, oh shit, YouTube is an actual viable thing to make money. Because when I was a kid, it was just like rotten.com and shit, mm -hmm. and e-bombs world. Right. So did you see... 
yourself smoking weed and go, you know what? I think I can make a video and it'd be fun to start doing shit. Or do you just make a video and go, fuck, people like this? Almost like that. So it actually started, I'd say like the first time I ever made a video was actually in eighth grade and it was for a documentary in uh, like the history fair. So everyone, you get like an option to do the history fair and everyone does like a poster board or like a PowerPoint or whatever. But we got the option to like make a video. I was like, fuck it. I kind of like, like watch YouTube all day. Like, I feel like I can make a dope video. So I like took some clips online, downloaded it, threw it in iMovie, narrated it. It was about D-Day. And then, oh, um, yeah, yeah. It was just super crazy. Like I was super into World War II and shit. And then my teacher was like, did you make this? I was like, yeah. She was like, this is insane. Like, this is sick. She was like, I'm going to submit it to like little history fair. Like I won like a regional, like fucking award or some shit for it. Was and that? I was like, yeah. And I was like, damn, this is kind of dope. Like, I kind of like, yeah, I was like, okay, I kind of like making uh, like videos and stuff. So um, ninth grade, we do another history fair and it's almost the same theme. So I just submit the same video. And then the teacher says the same thing. She's like, did you make this? Like, this is insane. You like, did this in iMovie. Yeah. That's how I started. What the fuck were you doing? That was so bad. Because I suck. I suck at editing, dude. Yeah. So if you're making shit like that in eighth grade, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I was just watching. Like, it was literally just imitation. Almost like I would watch like three or four of the documentaries on the same thing. And I would see how they like transitioned or see how long they like put the certain oh, like lengths on. Like got or the see formula how, down real quick. Yeah. And I see how like the music comes in or comes out. And I'm like, okay, like it's not that hard to replicate. So that's what I did. And then I got the same comments in ninth grade. So I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to make some videos. So I started making Call of Duty videos on another channel. Like I had a gameplay? Yeah, I had a video game channel where I would like cock and like do some gameplay and stuff. And I was honestly sick. Like I was nasty at Call of Duty. So people watched for that. And I was like kind of funny, like a goofy ass fucking 14 year old just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, this guy's kind of funny, whatever. So I hit like almost 10,000 subscribers over the course, like a couple of years. On and the then, gaming shit? Yeah, on the gaming stuff. That 14 times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, it kind of just died out and I was like not really feeling video games anymore by my senior year of high school. So that was over the course of like two and a half years. I was just rocking with like video games and stuff. And then I was like, I kind of want to keep making YouTube videos, but like I don't really play video games anymore. So I was like, fuck it, what do I really do? I was like, I just smoke weed and hang out with my friends. Fuck it, I'll just record that. So I asked for a video camera for Christmas <laughs> that year and I got it. And then uh, I just, I bought a lens with like my own money and like bought the like microphone and all that setup. They're like, these are expensive. I was like, just give me like a you shitty one. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll just fucking, I'll make it work. And then um, did that. Started uploading videos under like my real name because I used like a gameplay moniker before on YouTube. And then I was like, fucking, I, I gotta like have a personable, you know what I mean? I was like, Eric, Eric Khan, that's my name. Like, yeah. fuck, we'll just do it. It doesn't sound like a real name. It sounds like a, like a really cool villain's name. Because <laughs> Khan. Ah, I was like, yeah. It sounds like, tight. <laughs> Thank I didn't you, know that you. was your real name at first at all until I met you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I just did that. And then, I don't know, it just started to kick off after like a year. I was getting like 10 to 100 views a video for like a year, like uploading once or twice a week, just like that's grinding, sick, you know what I mean? Just like, just that's uploading starts, whatever the fuck, man. just uploading yeah. whatever the fuck, just super excited. I have screenshots in my phone of like 250 subscribers, 500 subscribers, like a thousand subscribers. Yeah, I have them all. Wow. It's fucking, it's pretty that's dope. very cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so that's just how it started. And then eventually it just got, I think what really popped me off, there was a time period where like custom grow and all those weed tubers were getting deleted and I didn't get touched. I don't know why. Like oh, I, they just didn't delete me. So like, when people looked up weed content, I was like one of the only ones. So that really helped out for sure. That was like uh, an explosive They all got deleted period. permanently? Uh, for a period, yeah. I think most of them got their channels back like after a fat, oh, like okay, a year okay. or two. Damn. But yeah, like several years. Like a lot of them quit because they're like, all right, I'm just never getting my channel back. And then like, went channel. back to their regular shit. I don't know why they didn't do that. But, Didn't you? All right. Yeah, I would. <laughs> but I guess they were scared they'd get deleted again. I mean, I wouldn't. You know, after all that I shit. Mean, if you're gonna get deleted, you're gonna get deleted. You might as well just keep, keep going. Yeah. It's fun. Mainly, that shit's fun as fuck. Shit's fucking, yeah, it was stupid fun. I see. At the time, like, I didn't even know when I was making my um, uh, like the original question where you saying like, would you that I thought I was gonna make money from it? So the gameplay videos were getting me like a couple hundred bucks a month in high school which is chill as fuck i was like dude i don't gotta work a part-time yes. job like so, <laughs> jokes yes. on you guys like i'm doing youtube and shit and then um i already knew that the videos weren't going to get monetized but i was going to college and shit so I was they, they like, weren't gonna get monetized the gaming the uh, when weed? i made the weed content because oh, gotcha. i already knew like the youtube system so i was like all right i don't even know if there is money in this but like i could probably make it work somehow like if i somehow got an audience like that was the initial maybe the initial goal i think was like if i somehow get an audience i want to start a brand or i want to start something like with that help Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm finally like realizing that vision. Just Good sick. shit. It's like four years <clears throat> in the making and then you yeah. moved to the place to do it. Exactly. I just had to, man. Good I just shit. had to get out here, dude. I think I moved here in my fifth year doing this content. <laughs> nice. The content. Where were you before? 
uh, up north. Merced, like, uh, right? Merced. Yeah, right. it's a. Uh, you know where Sacramento is in mm-hmm. California, right. like two hours south. That's oh, a, okay. It's a little town, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you sound like you're right on the right path right now. Thank you. Good uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm cool excited. to hear that. Thank you, man. I'm super excited about everything. Like, it's just dope just to be out here in L.A. Like, I'm doing stuff in L.A. that, like, never in a million years would have done back in Texas. Like, it's crazy. Like, So, another question for everyone out there that hasn't watched. I saw your video. That mm-hmm. hasn't watched one of these videos in the past month or any of his videos. You've been lying. Yeah. Because when I first met you, I go, so how's uh, Arizona? Arizona. <laughs> You know, bro, I don't live in Arizona. Like, I was like, just don't tell anyone. Ooh, you like, sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you were bro. lying to your whole audience for how many years? Three and a half. Like a fat minute, bro. Like a fat ass I minute. Love it. And some people knew because I would slip up sometimes and like people would just be on it. Like they'd be on your shit. Like there's a water bottle that's only in Texas and I showed it on a live stream. They're like, um, how do you have that? That's only in Texas. And I was like, yeah, you gotta be careful. Shit exactly. Like yeah. Like low key shit. Or I would have friends um, that would come over and they would say like the real time because it's like a two hour time difference. Ooh, and then people would be like, Wait. on live? Yeah. And they'd be like, wait a minute. It's not. People that are good, time. man. Yes. People dude. are good. Yes, I make sure to look the whole room and I cut out addresses off anything. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, People are fucking good. Dude, they're looking, bro. They're, they're just waiting for you to slip up for sure. Yeah, Everybody. I used to lie about where I live downtown for so long. Like, yeah, I don't live there. And I see people in the elevator. Yo, I'm out. <laughs> I get the DM. Like, no, I'm just at my friend's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then show well, the same People hallway. at the place you lived. Yeah. I did that once in Texas. And it was like, no, nah, I'm just visiting. Yeah. It was like, it's not like, don't follow me. It's more of. You know what I have specifically all the time. You can yeah. literally know exactly where I'm at exactly. when I'm. If you just turn my shit on, <laughs> it's a scary feeling. Depending on what's going on, right? Most definitely. Nice, dude. So, how's Texas? I mean, you grew up Oof. born and raised. Yeah, I was born in Austin, lived there for a few years, and then I started kindergarten in San Antonio, and then lived there since 21, I guess 22, almost. So, 17 years in that bitch. It's a crazy little city, but. Like so, it. question. How are you doing all this in the legal state? I would just travel a lot, I guess. So I guess one of the videos, like, and the companies were kind of cool with it. They were just like in really? it for like the exposure, I guess. Like not the actual like drug companies, you know what I mean? Like not the weed companies, like drug companies, not the actual. Like, <laughs> well, from where you're at, it's a drug company. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, not the weed companies. I would have to like fly here and make content here for that, which is why I eventually moved out here because I was flying out so much. And it was just like, I started to get actual like weed stuff because before it was just like glass and stuff that was actually legal to ship to Texas. Mm-hmm. So all the devices and stuff are legal. You can get a Puffco shipped to Texas and all that, yeah. you know what I mean? No problem. But I would literally just fly the weed back. Cause you know, LAX, you can go out with like an ounce of weed or like eight yeah. grams of concentrate. So I would just like every trip back, I would go like twice a month to LA and I'd just be like. No oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <Fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> they never search your shit on. Nah. Good. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, uh, TSA would look at it every time and they would be like, I would do all carry on and they would just like open it up, see it all on top. They like move it around because they're just looking for bombs and shit, you know? That's crazy, man. You just got to make sure you don't have like a pack on you. Then you're like, yeah, probably anything over a QPB. A little yeah, much. for sure. No it's shit. It's like a personal amount. You can like fit in your hand. They're like, fuck them. Like yeah. they're looking for like bad shit, you know? Most of them are chill too. I feel like. Yeah, most people aren't even worried about it, man. You know? <laughs> That's what I feel like a lot of people are always worried about. Like oh, what I always used to be worried about in like high school and you'd get high and you'd be like, dude. You're looking over your shoulder like who's out to get me like all the time and it's just like you're just paranoid it's like was no one really the gives <laughs> I, mean, I don't know i was just always i was just I used to sell weed when i was a, when I was a kid so oh for sure it was a different experience oh yeah for sure. <laughs> it is a different experience i was selling weed in the gang town <laughs> it's scary um damn hold on real quick i know you can cut this what's that noise no that it's the cricket I think it's a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's loud. It's a loud ass cricket. Yo, he's got to be in what? here. Huh? It's coming from outside, even. Yo, what is happening? <laughs> it's those, I'm, I'm sure those dabs are amplifying that shit. It's just, I, I thought it was. I had to stop. I know you can clip this out. It's louder than the rain was. Yo, <laughs> what? Is that going to fuck up this video? A cricket? <laughs> a fucking one <laughs> cricket? I just had to make sure. I just had to make sure. Because that is <laughs> fucking insane. It's a loud cricket. Yo, what? Okay. Beep. Beep.
<laughs> yo, I was tripping. I'm sorry. I thought that was me. You didn't yeah, say anything. So I'm like, yo, am I the one? <laughs> should have been like, we don't hear. Yeah, we don't hear. What are you Fuck you guys. That was bullshit. <laughs> All right, ready to go. All right, so so you're fresh out here, a weekend. What are your plans? To just me. The main thing was uh, that I've been doing is like meeting as many people as possible. Like my goal has to been like just meet one person, like whether it's like industry or like party person or like whoever the fuck, like friend or like whatever, like a person a day, like get one number a day. And that's been the truth oh, so far. Shit. Like I've just met like hella people and that's been like just to like network and like meet people. Like that's really what that's I'm a out here, you know? That's a pretty cool goal, I gotta be honest. Yeah. That's thank pretty you, thank wild. You. Never heard anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just trying to meet like literally as many people as possible, like network, like get my shit out there. Like I've met some like pretty cool people in like some crazy industries just from like a week of being here like some crazy photographer that does some like, cool shit and like a whole bunch of weed industry people that like nice. never would have been close to meeting in texas you know like it's when you thought about you it. have to make the move it's the same thing i did you had to make the move man you have to it's crazy like it's crazy to see the difference like, how immediate it was and i was like Dope. damn like, you know, all your friends are gone now though if they're back in texas yeah yeah i have a couple of friends out here in la and um I mean, actually you're a little you're like your home oh yeah homie, homies. Your videos yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so that's rough damn. But that's like, <laughs> yeah that's, that was a rough a part out. It's good though, man. Good transition. That's the best thing for you. Yeah, it's the best mm-hmm. thing you could have did. Yeah, thank you, thank here. you. Fuck yeah, I'm stoked for you. That's yeah, thank you, bro. I'm sick. super hyped. I'm super hyped about it. Um, sorry, damn. I know we had to make a bleep, but then that cricket threw me the fuck off. I had a whole so- <laughs> subject in my head, and now it's a gone. loud motherfucker. Fuck. Hold on. All right, we're good. Um. So, uh, let's pick it up. We're. You're, you're making videos, weed, weed videos, 18, you start gaining a following, you start making money off of it, right? Then you right. start transitioning to that, to the um, brand. Mm-hmm. Here you are. Yeah, right? I am. Yeah. So everybody right there that got distracted by that motherfucking cricket too, we're <laughs> caught back up, okay? There it I is. get sidetracked sometimes, my <laughs> bad. I'm surprised I haven't been ranting. Let me just stop. Everybody, 25 fucking minutes in and Flat. there's no ranting yet. I haven't fucking done it until now. <laughs> I guess talking about it. So, dude, let me ask you a question mm-hmm. <clears throat> for everyone. I know this is these are questions that these are fan questions. I has to be because these are not questions I would normally ask, but they're I know they're questions that people are like, you should ask this. You should ask this. <laughs> you ever got too fucking high and just passed out, done, throw up? Have you ever greened out horribly? Yes. From the, <laughs> how <laughs> uh, the liquid karma video. So I I drank the whole bottle for a liquid karma video, like an idiot, thousand milligrams, and like damn, like 160 pounds, and it was like probably my first time doing over like 400, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go hard for the video. The video turned out okay, like I was doing well. 30 minutes after, I start editing it. I was like going hard this day. I was like, fuck it, let's get this video out. Start editing 30 minutes after you got done filming. Yeah, damn, it was like high as fuck. And then I started to notice the screen a little bit, and it started to like move a little bit, like almost like I was fucking tripping. And I was like, wait, and then I started to get a little like nauseous and dizzy. I was like, oh no, I gotta lay down, like fuck no. So I laid down and then I got the spins like you would when you're just like blackout drunk mm-hmm. and I tried to like sleep and my head would just spin and I was like, nah, I'm gonna vomit. And it was like the f- probably the <laughs> hardest I've ever thrown up in my entire life. Like projectile vomit, like, <laughs> like I had to like make that noise and it was like, like a waterfall and it was like, and I didn't feel better after. I didn't feel better after at all. You passed like, out though? Oh yeah, for sure. After that, fuck. Like yeah, like yeah, it was uh, fucked. Damn, dude. One time I accidentally ate way too much RSO. At oh. once, I took the wrong dosage. It's exactly what happened to me. I got the spins. Tried to close my eyes, but kept spinning so bad. <laughs> threw up, passed out, but felt horrible. Never felt better after I puked. Oh like, really? Yeah. See, that's like how you. usually how I feel. So when you say, I'm like, oh, that's a. I've, I feel what you're saying. Man. Yeah, definitely. Crazy stuff, bro. We did some crazy stuff to you. It, yeah, dude, it ingested uh, too much. Um, only time I've ever gotten close to just throwing the fuck up is off the pens when I do those killing all the grams. Oh, bro, you little stizzy pens. hand shit. Come on, <sighs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Most puke. It's probably it's like That's it's crazy. like the, the, just the too high. You yeah, know, you feel high when you're like oh. you know those times in high school you're like, you can get and you drink. You're like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw up. You're like just just praying. That's how yeah. I feel. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like put your head on the cold. That's oh, how I that's feel. Like, like that. Like you said, like you drink too much. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude, I just relive that whole feeling. Right? That's disgusting. Woo. The pens, man. Dude, projectile th- throw up vomit off of liquid karma. Yeah. Damn, I never tried it before. It's pretty dope. I'll get you a little bottle. 
fucking doubt yeah. it. I'm saying, yeah, for sure. I'm <laughs> saying if you're throwing up, like it's probably sugary though too. It is a little sugary. It's like actual syrup. So like if you mix it in a drink, it's nice. Got. But like you can like it's like you fill it in the cap full and it tastes pretty good. Like everyone I give it to, they're like, oh, it tastes good. My girlfriend uh, passed out off of it actually. This is oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy story. She probably won't want me to tell me this, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Tell it. It's a yeah, great, great, story, it. great story. Yeah. Okay, so we actually go to Six Flags, which is uh, it's, there's a Six Flags in Texas, in San Antonio. Yeah, it's pretty fresh, actually. It's what? got some rides. Yeah, it's called it's like, Fiesta, some rides. Fiesta, Texas, baby. <laughs> so uh, we go there. We're in like line for this like brand new ride or whatever. And she drank, I think, three capfuls. So it was like 150 milligrams. So I guess she didn't expect it to be that much because she really doesn't take more than like 50. You know, most people don't really take more yeah. than like 50 or like honestly 10 or it's 20, crazy how you know? It hits them though. Yeah, for it, sure. It no yeah, yeah, yeah. Weed smokers. Yeah, so we're just in line. She is like, you know what I mean? She has her arm over me and then she's just like, I think I'm going to green out. And I was like, I was like, what? She said those words? Yeah, she's like, I think I'm going to green out. I was like, huh? Oh, and then like, no. she's just like, I look at her and then her knees just like buckle and then she just like imagine like a pancake like folding, <laughs> like she got knocked the fuck out. It looks like I thought someone sniped like when her cats ass. are sleeping. Yeah. Someone sniped. Her. Yeah, dude, it looked like she was like, like it literally she just fell, and I was like, Yo. oh my god. And the worst part, I guess, was I tried to grab her, like I almost caught her, like one of her arms. So I can imagine like you're falling, and then one of the arms, so your head goes like. And then she knocked her head on the ground, and I was like, what, what just happened? Hold on, this is in line. Yes, in line, bro. In ride? the middle of the line, the Joker. See, I knew, I knew he would know. I knew you were gonna know exactly what happened. It was the Joker, Good bro. Shit. So like immediately, everyone was just like, "Oh my god!" And like no! just like a little yeah, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like I just need someone to get me some fucking water, like something. And like there's a little like medical team that they come in and they're like, "Did you tell you guys on animals? anything?" No, for sure not. And there's like. Oh, I was like, it's really hot. And I was like, I think she just, you know, needed some water, you know. It's really hot outside. And they're like, yeah. They're like, for sure. And I think they could tell I was high as fuck. Because I was also like, I drank like probably two or three times of her. So I was like, this can't happen right now. Like in the middle of that, I was just like oh, so man. fucking fake that I was like, no. What a was, situation. Yeah. Some fucking crazy stuff. So question. Did you guys recover and keep riding rides? No. Oh, no. I know. I wanted day? to. I was literally, yeah, no, it was almost the end of the day, but I was like, no, I mean, the end of your day, that was it? Yeah. It was like begging <sighs> to go on her. I was like, just go on one ride. And she was like, I yeah, just yeah. passed yeah. out. Yeah. I was like, everybody. dude, I was like, I did not just wait in line to just watch you pass out. And I was like, I need to ride <laughs> one ride for sure. That was our first ride. We didn't ride a single one all night. Paid for admission, which is like no, 60 fucking dollars. No. The first ride. <laughs> the first ride. Didn't ride a single ride the whole fucking night. Insane. I was like, I have to ride one. Bro, no. She's like, I can just pass down. I was like, oh. That's awful. You should have pulled a dick move in right when she passed out. Like, help her. And then take off in front of the line. line. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like, whoa. <laughs> just like spaced out and I just snagged that. Yo, um, I'm sorry. I'm, I am I, I didn't mean to say that. I don't know your girlfriend. I'm sorry. It was just a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> you, all right. Sorry. That's a, that's a great sitcom right there. Yeah, I for love sure. it. I, I love you. I love scenes like that when be like I think the same thing when I'm like, dude, that could be a fucking show. Like what just happened could mm-hmm. just be a script and everyone yeah. would laugh. Your life like, is, is Seinfeld. You watch Seinfeld? Yeah, I've watched a few seasons of it for sure. So if you have Seinfeld moments in your life, you know you've had them. But yeah. this is unbelievable. I can't believe anybody's like, no fucking way. here. I'm like, I can't, yeah, it was like, recording this like this. Fucking no impossible. Fucking <laughs> dude, have you ever had a um, See, I'm I have to i I'm, I'm asking from a perspective of I know these are questions people are going to love to hear. Yeah. So I have to hear because I'm always motherfucking telling stories and shit. <laughs> and it's cool to ask somebody that's doing the same shit basically that I do. Basically, You're right. Like the same exact lane. It's fucking awesome to hear the stories of somebody else doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. It's fuck cool yeah. as fuck. Hell yeah. Um, what was your first time buying weed by yourself? Like not with your friends. Oh. Nothing. You know that experience of you going by yourself. Feeling yeah. like, oh, I'm a grown up now. Fuck. I'm by Good myself question. going to buy weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not with the homies. What was the experience? Can you remember? Or did it become such a habit at that point? You were just like, oh, let me pick up a sack real quick by myself. No, nah, it wasn't smoking. really like that. Because at the first, when I was first smoking, like, I kind of made it a thing. Like, it was just like my fucking youthful mind. I was like trying to keep my grades intact and stuff. I was like, I'm only going to smoke when I'm with homies, like on the weekends. Oh. So that was like the first few months. And it was senior year. It was the first time I smoked by myself. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it was like a year and a half or almost like two years of smoking weed. Damn, just like just with homies. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he responds. That sounds amazing. 
Yeah, it was pretty. It was a pretty nice time for sure. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish I smoked more because it was just like fuck it. It was just high school. Like you know, it was like fuck it. If you if that's the way you did it and that's the way it had to be, right? Definitely. That's awesome. That's the first I think I've ever heard anybody say that shit. Except yeah. for my one friend that's an actual psychologist now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because he did that. He'd be like, nope, we're doing a homework. He would always be doing his homework while we're getting high. Mm -hmm. And then he'd smoke. And we're like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> because by the time Monday came, none of us had our homework done but his ass. Yeah. And yeah. now he's getting paid. There you go. Yeah. By uh, so you year, though, that all went away. And I was just getting high all the time for sure. Really? But I almost can't remember the first time. I do remember. I mean, you went to college. You have you have good grades? Yeah, I had de I had pretty decent grades in college. Enough to like, yeah, I'm down for another one for sure. Thank you. Uh, good enough grades in college to like definitely pass the classes, but not enough to like get on the honor roll and stuff. And I lost scholarships and stuff because like you needed like a four point or like a, even like a three or like a fucking three five and shit. And I just didn't have that. So it was oh rough. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd but, you go to school? Uh, UTSA. It's a university in San Antonio? Yeah, University of Texas. At oh, San Antonio. <laughs> see, I'm good. There see, you I go. I was trying to figure it yeah, out. I was going to go to another, like a couple other schools that like my homies are going to and stuff. Like there's Texas Tech and like Texas A&M, which like party schools would have been super fun. But uh, that was the only school that gave me a full ride. Like and for like all, like all my shit was paid for. So I was just like, how so can I like pass that shit you got a full scholarship up? ride and then you're saying you didn't get as enough good grades so they took your scholarships away? Yeah, so I got like not one full ride, but it was like multiple scholarships that were all just like combined oh. to, to cover the tuition. And then by the time it was like, and like second semester, sophomore year, I lost like 25% of it in the end of like oh, junior year. I lost like, fuck. it was like, it came a ton of 5%. So like, and this is why you're doing videos and all this shit's happening. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, this is fucked up. <laughs> and then they got to a point where it was like, just recently it was like, it caused a lot, like an insane amount of stress. Like college is fucking stressful, especially if they're getting like full amount of classes. I was taking like five classes and uh, trying to do this full time and uh, like a whole bunch of other stuff. And I had the visions of like moving to LA and like starting the brand and everything. And I was like, dude, I have too much on my plate right now. So I was like, I have to drop one thing. And it was like, college is always going to be there. And it'll probably be fucking free. Who knows? Maybe Joe Biden will make it free in a few years. <laughs> I'll just go back to that shit and then we'll be all right. So like, we'll be all right. So I was like, <laughs> my whole thing was like, I don't feel like I'm going to need it on a resume like i want to build an experienced resume that's like i already got what i needed to needed to from college like i'm not going to say it was useless i definitely advise people to go to college like i learned a fuck down in college for sure especially about marketing which is my degree and like what's going to help me in the brand and everything yeah. like i would definitely recommend it if you can get some shit paid for you know what i mean if you have like maybe if you don't know what you're doing like i would almost i don't know it's fucking expensive. That's just the name It's through fucking through. expensive, bro. It doesn't even make sense. Was that? If you need your hand held through it, it takes a lot of discipline to like do right. it online. You can get a lot of those type of stuff. Right. There's great online courses and shit. Yeah, 100%. Most people need their hand held through it. That's me. Oh, fuck. That guy <laughs> did. No, he's driving a train. It's our built in sound effect. <laughs> Yo, you should. You should start adding some shit around that. So, how long did you go to school for? Three and a half. I was in my last semester. And I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> That's tough. You hear him? Me? Yeah. I only have one class till I get my degree. <laughs> yeah. I was in my last fucking semester. And I went. I don't fucking care anymore. Bro, literally the same. What I was like, that. One hundred percent, exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. We got to do Wait a series it. of you guys going back and shit. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, when did so. you stop? Was this recent you stopped? Bro, this past semester. Like, I'm supposed to... Oh, this is a fresh, fresh This one. is like a few, like, I stopped going to class pretty much. Like, I'm just... Oh, <laughs> like, I'm not going to sign up for a whole different life. Right. Oh. Like, yeah, it's just completely, like... And I could immediately tell, like... It was just getting to a point where I was like super stressed and super anxious and it was like actually weighing on my mental because I didn't really deal with any of those problems. Like maybe it was the weed or like growing up, I never really dealt with that. But like this was the first time where I would like wake up and just like feel fucking weird. Like I need to like throw up. I was like, I have so much shit to do. So stressed, so anxious. And it's like, I need to drop something for sure. Like just to keep my like <sighs> yeah. mental intact. You know what I mean? So I was like, school will always be there. Fuck it. So I'll see you later. That's recent. Yeah, don't don't feel bad because I know when you did, you're like, fuck, it was a big decision. It's a big right. decision. Yeah, 100%. Huge. It's your whole fucking life yeah. till that point. 100%. And especially telling people, like, mom mom respected it. And my mom acted in the same way that she did when she found that I did these, like, weed, weed, weed tube videos. This is who people? My mom. No, wait, did you say, and especially 
what did you say? Especially what people? I didn't oh, the people when I made the video. Like they're always like, uh, I got. Oh, I thought you said like, Italian people. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, especially like Italian people. They were uh, watching my video, going, "Huh?" So that's why I had to keep. I, 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 You're like, wait I'm a minute, sorry, wait sorry. a minute. <laughs> I didn't need to get deep in that story and thinking like, yeah. "Where's this? Where's that? What is he talking about?" Yeah. Italian. My bad. No, I thought he said. Yeah, but like all the people like comments, DMs, and they'll be like, "Bro, you just like need to finish." And I was like, "Dude, trust me, like." I'm, I'm good. Done. Like I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. Like I was like, nah, I was probably gonna fail that shit. I was like, just not there mentally. Like in the last few classes, I didn't even need. Like I felt like I got everything I needed to from college. Like I learned what I needed to for sure. Damn, yeah. that's a big decision. That's yeah. that's good though. If that's what you felt you needed to do, then do it. That's ex right. you're doing. You literally said exactly what happened to me. I went to school and then never finished. Dude, like fuck it. I, was like, so I don't close. even need. Yeah, so close. So close. I mean, you did a four-year college. That's different. Mm -hmm. You have you you didn't do bad. Mm -hmm. Say that you were finishing on track. All right. You didn't do bad. Never feel bad about that because I finished school like that. I felt so shitty for months. But I also I know you guys have heard this forever. I, you probably haven't. I went to a JC, mm -hmm. but for five years. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I never feel. <laughs> No, I went every semester. Oh. <laughs> I was just sell weed. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna leave class. I'm gonna need yeah. to say, and I'd be out, and then they drop me because oh, I would do it that. so much. Yeah. And I go, fuck. Okay, next semester, next semester, next. <laughs> and I would do school for two and a half months and leave. Two and a half months yeah. and leave. I did. It's every a long semester. fucking. The semesters are long, dude. I'm so just. Long. I fucked up so many times. So yeah, you're on. You're you're doing way better than I fucking did. Trust me. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's a big decision. So you left. Um, and you're out and your family, are they pissed? Uh, they're not pissed. They're just like, uh, they under, kind of understand what I'm doing right now. Like it was, like I said, the same thing about like the weed tube. It was like, it wasn't like a, what are you doing? It was like, okay, I understand. Cause you're like making something of it. Like, it's not just, I thought they were going to see it as I'm just smoking weed on the internet, mm -hmm. but they kind of see like what I have behind it. Like the vision, like I explained to them like what it's going to be. And like, cause I think weed is just like drug like dare program shit you know what i mean yeah. that's how my grandparents parents are for sure and it took a while to convince them that it wasn't that and it was just like dude it's gonna be like tobacco it's gonna be like beer like imagine getting into these industries like 100 really? 200 300 years ago like come on and that's yeah. how they like that's how i explained it to him and that's how they finally understood like okay like he's not like stupid about it you know what i mean yeah. i think the main thing they thought that was like just stupid <laughs> yeah. like, but yeah. at the same time you're in school and shit and if right. this is something you're truly talking about mm -hmm. Like, yeah, they can't be mad at it. I'm glad to hear that, man. That's like a very rare answer. It's 99%. Yeah, they're fucking pissed. <laughs> but that's it's great to hear. Mm -hmm. At least you got some support. That's awesome, man. Because I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, I have so much to do. I do this. Blah, 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 blah. I've been through that shit for years. Yeah. That shit sucks. Yeah, dude. It weighs on everything. You feel fucking tired. You feel like you can't sleep, but yeah. you're tired. Like, it's like a whole draining mm -hmm. And then it's almost, yeah, like you said, I feel anxious, but I have 90 things to do. Where do I start? Yes. Fuck. This guy's not ready. So I can only do half of these things. And then I can only do an email on these things and wait two weeks. <laughs> yes, bro. It's it's hard, you got to like time it all up. Mm -hmm. And then like sometimes you miss time things and it's like, oh, it throws this thing yeah. off. And, and if you're like, going, bah. yeah. And especially if you're going to school already. And yeah. this is, I'm only talking about what we're doing, like for mm -hmm. the weed and the business and the advertising. Mm -hmm. and, taking on and doing brands and making your own brand. That is what I'm talking about. And right. you have a full-time fucking school schedule on the side. Yeah. <sighs> You're killing it. Yeah. I was just like, nah, it was like, I was killing it for a little bit. And then it just starts to like burn out. It's a real thing, I guess, especially with school, bro. It's it just is. like fucks you up. You get tired quick. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man, You're going full-time school too. That's amazing. I did not know. I didn't know you were going to school like that. That's fucking awesome. Wow. Yeah. Uh, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, like you yeah. said it'll always be that it might be yeah. free when you go back damn near that's what i'm thinking and it's like i mean god forbid i do need the degree and like everything just like falls to shit and i'm like whatever homeless and it's like whatever i'll get a degree <laughs> whatever, <homeless. laughs> i'll get that fucking degree for free like, we'll see yo mm -hmm. so do you have to pay for everything since you haven't finished uh shit maybe oh, fuck. <laughs> did you just bring that up right is that when you started thinking about like wait do i <laughs> I don't don't you so. have to pay back your... Fuck yeah, you got to pay that shit back. Right? <laughs> I'm still paying that shit back. Are, yeah. are you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, no matter if you take the class, they make you pay that shit back. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Thank God it's not an expensive school, I guess. <laughs> it's an in-state school. It's not private or anything, but shit, no way. I mean, a lot of it was grants. Oh, that's right. Like, you did say that. You did yeah. say that. You said that. I'm burnt. 
Yeah, but you'll like, be fine. You might, you might be right though. I, mean, I fucking hope I'm, hope I'm not. not. I hope yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I hope you're not too. <laughs> I'm, gone, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. You pay for shit. Either way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody go buy some shit. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's All go, right, man. man. Let's fucking run it up. This tuition off. Just gotta just Today. found out I whole had a whole lot of debt. <laughs> <laughs> Stress just hit me <laughs> when I came to the. I was I was filming with Thomas. Oh, it was the worst uh, moment of my life up until today. <laughs> um, my, my bad. <laughs> Yo, Clackamas, man. I, I I owe Clackamas Community College from Oregon money, apparently. <laughs> hey, I never even went to your school, all right? Fuck you guys. This is on camera, on tape. <laughs> Fuck you guys, all right? Damn, I didn't do shit. They keep trying to charge me for classes I never went to because I used to go there in high school. Fuck that shit. Whoa, that's crazy. You know, like on the day you have to go. Scam or something. No, you don't have to pick your days. You, know, and you pick your colleges. Like, who do you think you're going to go to? Well, obviously, you know what you're talking about. You have to pick the. I picked the fucking schools and now they're charging me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Anyway, on off of tuition talk. All right, that's a different show. Here we go. So in all the years that you've been doing this, you're in Texas and you're coming to California. Has anybody ever recognized you and blew your fucking cover while you're in Texas? Uh, not blew my cover. Uh, one time I got posted a picture. I guess got recognized a lot. So I would have to explain like, oh, I'm just like, you know, visiting. I'm just visiting for a little bit because my family lived there. So like, I'm just visiting my family. And most of them knew that. And they'd be like, okay. But uh, I remember there's this one spot near the campus that I would just chill and drink at a lot. And I saw the same guy like fucking every weekend. He'd be like, wait a minute. Like, why are you here every weekend? <laughs> and I was like, ah, bro, I just live here. Like, keep it on the low key. So no one ever like spread it or anything you know what i mean i'm sure some people knew but i think there was one picture that someone tagged me in and it was on twitter and it was like at the bar he like tagged the location and like in his bio he was like blank and like utsa and he had like all his shit and i was like bruh like nah. uh, <laughs> blew your shit up like that yeah that's the worst man it was fucked but we're all good no, I'm now I'm out of there. Yeah, now I'm out of there, baby. I live, you know, in, I live in Tok little Tokyo, man. Yeah, what are you talking about? Nah, I live downtown. <laughs> yeah, just out of there. <laughs> I live in LA County. That's what you can say now. LA County somewhere. Somewhere. You're very vague. Little, big little metropolis is going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're out to have fun. I'm so fucking hyped right now thinking that you just moved here. How cool. Fresh out here, dude. I'm dude, so excited. Good it's, it's a fucking good time. Like I'm just I'm just loving it for sure. Nice man, so just I just love hearing like you just got your fucking car, you moved out oh, here, yeah. you do. Oh man, I'm cool. Thank you, good man. man. Yeah, cool, I'm so very, fucking excited. very cool. That's that's it's a it's a good feeling. I remember right when I moved out here that first week, I was like, what the fuck? Like this I'm is real. In LA? Yeah, I know. It's fucking oh, sick. I'm a GTA. It's, sick. <laughs> it's literally GTA, bro. Like everyone when I like, bring <laughs> homies out here and shit, they're like. Bro, I didn't know it was so alike GTA, yeah, and I'm like, on. it's the same thing. Yeah, we we're having this conversation, driving to get weed. Me and Marty today. Yeah, we're driving to get some weed. Uh, I've seen this road in GTA for sure. Yeah. Like I've been we're on talking this road. about it. <laughs> yeah, my old apartment buildings in GTA, the ones I lived in nice. at the time. No so, shit, yeah, that's crazy. Downtown. So I was looking at it like this is fucking insane. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Damn, they've been a while since GTA Six, huh? That'd be sick. I wonder where it's gonna be. <sighs> I don't even want to talk. About <laughs> was that insider info you had on that shit earlier or was it your whoa um, just spill it man you got no we've deep. talked about it many times oh okay. have we about have we the, talked about it on the podcast about about we've never talked about it, yo what's up dj poo donnie come on man <laughs> come on i know we haven't talked in a long time but we should do so dj poo is the guy that wrote uh the, the guy that wrote friday mm -hmm. right he writes the GTA scripts too, right? Oh, sure. And he's a uh, red from GT uh, from Friday that gets punched in the face. Yeah, that's DJ Pooh. He's a director. He, I know those guys. I know him and the guy named Donnie. Donnie Anderson. What's up? He's cool as fuck. He's a wild motherfucker. I, can, I have a story about him, but I don't know if I can. I'm allowed to say it. it's really awesome, but I'll just keep it like that until I talk to him. <laughs> the way I met this man was so fucking amazing. Shit, I can't even talk about it. Never mind. Anyway, they write GTA. And a couple years ago, I was talking to them, and they told me I'm like bullshit. And then they were like, "You know, you are DJ Pooh. You, you're probably not bullshit me. Never mind." I was like, "My bad. All right, you guys write GTA. Keep going." And I was like, "I don't believe you guys." And I asked, them, "What's up? I'm in GTA." So they like agreed. So for like four years straight, I'm like, "Oh, I'm just waiting for them to let me know when GTA Six starts because they're like, yeah, we'll put you in Part Six. I'm like, "Yo, just kind of not just get shot." Please don't let me get shot in the scene because if somebody doesn't like me online, that's a, it's going to be a meme and a gif. Me just getting popped in fucking GTA in the script over and over and over and over again. I was like, yo, just let me be like the guy that introduced you to the Wii farm or something. That was I asked. So him. amazing. 
amazing, That's right? Sick. So when we talk about GTA, I was like, oh, fuck. Because GTA is already getting made, and mm -hmm. I never got a call. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. They never called me. So That's it's a so bittersweet cool. moment because it's my favorite game of all time. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto is crazy. Yeah, and Damn, that that's bullshit. That would be it's fucking so awesome. Sad, game, bro. It makes Holy me shit. so sad because it's like, immortalize me, guys. Put me in the game forever, please. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. I can be happy for the rest of my life. Go, you be like GTA? I'm fucking in, in it, bro. <laughs> that's just be so <laughs> dope. That'd be so tight. Damn it. Hey, DJ Boo, Donnie, let me know. Um, on to other things before I get all sad and shit. I'm just waiting for eight years, basically, for that shit to happen. Um, okay, on to other things. Yeah, so you're out here. You're fresh out here. Let's get on to another motherfucking topic because I'm about to start rambling. All right? <laughs> I'm getting high. I'm chilling. Damn, we're already 50 minutes in. Fuck. Wow, how long do you usually go? Depends. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right, we'll see. We'll just see. Yeah, it depends, dude. We've done like three hours. The one we did today was four hours. Uh, it's just God going. Damn, nice. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be an hour. Do Not you edit them or really just let it like free throw? Or like Marty, Marty nice. edits them. Nice, nice. Uh, all the edits. Remember, like when I, because you you've been on YouTube like mm -hmm. since what sixteen seventeen ish. Yeah. Right around there. Yeah, yeah, I started making, or that's when the Weed Tube started. I started making gameplay videos, like 2014, I want to say. Gotcha, gotcha. Because, like, 2018, the end of 2018 is when I was like, you know what? I'm starting to do YouTube. Because I had mm -hmm. a YouTube for four years, never fucking did anything with it. I just made mm -hmm. the name. You, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just had the shit. So when I, when I saw you, because I was looking up, like, who does YouTube? Are there mm -hmm. different YouTubers than Instagrammers? Because I never... Right. Yeah, just like delved in. It's like a whole world. It's a whole. That's what I was going to get into. Holy <laughs> shit. There's people. And then I saw it like when a YouTuber can have 100,000 followers or uh, subscribers and on Instagram, they'll have a million because mm -hmm. it like it transfers over so weirdly. Yeah. It, it's so yeah. odd how it transfers like that. So I it's, thought it's strong. YouTube mm -hmm. is real. That's 100,000 real fucking subscribers then. Right. Real people watching. I didn't know how powerful YouTube was at all, uh -huh. ever. It's the second biggest website in the world. What's the first? Google, oh, which is like, damn. They you, own fucking Well, I follow you on, on, <laughs> they on Twitter, Google. and most of the time I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I don't know nothing about this cur cryptocurrency. Oh, I don't even shit. know none of the <laughs> references you're making. Like, yo, what the fuck? Is, <laughs> the only ones I get are like, yo, I know about the Saints. I know about the Saints. Yeah, I know what Saints are. And yeah, then the rest of the like, Saints, yo, baby. I am not on this crypto shit. Yo, please. Please, so me and Marty don't have fucking breakdowns. Can you explain cryptocurrency to me in a dumb guy version? Like, it's just look like, at me like I have no, I do, I have no fucking clue how this shit works. How is it nothing more than me going, yo, inside this lighter, you can put it in the computer, there's $50 billion on it. <laughs> I mean. But don't lose it. Don't forget the password. Yeah. How is it, how is it not just that? And then going, hey, by the way, we shut the company off. None of you guys have money. How, what protects me? How is this? How do, why do people want this? I'm so ignorant, man. I have no idea. And I know you know it. Yeah. Please break it down to me why it's valuable. Uh, there's a couple of different crypto. It's a main way. See, people say Bitcoin is a way to just like a uh, store of value. It's just like a protection against inflation. If something were to go down, like if the dollar were to go to shit, Bitcoin's still going to be worth the amount it's worth. And if not, it's going to take a lot more money to buy that Bitcoin because of inflation. So it's just going to be, it's always going to like hold its value and people are always going to assume that it holds value. Or at least that's what key really keeps it valuable is really people assume the it belief. holds value. Yeah. Which is why anything holds value though. Oh like, yeah. Like the dollar. Yeah. It's like, but I, I think it gets me is it's not tangible. I can't touch any right. of my money. Like how do I know I have that money? It scares right. me. Yeah. But that's like, I mean, a lot of people but said that about like bank. mail for a while or like, yeah, a lot of people said that about a whole things like how would I like, how would I ever not hold my mail or like something like that. But a lot of people have bank accounts. A lot of people have like credit cards. Oh, like you can't see the money behind a credit card. Completely right. No, I was saying like, what are you talking about? My fucking debit card. Yeah. I and deposit it's like, you can't money. See it. You just like, it's a yeah. number on a screen. Just because it's a place of a bank, I trust it more. But then mm -hmm. at a cryptocurrency bank, I would trust it too. Right. <laughs> yeah. And cryptocurrency, the whole thing is that there is in a bank there is no bank like it's a whole thing it's like it's decentralized the government can't touch it like it's completely I, separate entity from i'm sorry how do you get your money out if you want tangible money like you want cash to go buy a car and the guy's a fucking hick and he's like no i don't take fucking credit cards and he's I, like i need cash how do you get your money out well then you just gotta 
I guess it's just a way of the future. Like that's just like a way of the past. I guess they're thinking like Bitcoin's gonna be or like cryptocurrency in general is a way that it's not like physical. Like it's past that type shit. You know, like it's the way email was like we're not even gonna ship like postcards or like stamps or like put that whole thing out of business. Like we're just gonna completely digitally send your mail. And cryptocurrency is oh, okay. like we're gonna completely digitize your money, so you don't have to hold it. And it's there's different cryptocurrencies that are a lot better for transferring money to one another. Like some cryptocurrencies are just like slow at doing it. Like a lot of people admit that like it's not completely where it needs to be, but it's like very early into like what it can be. This is like it's gonna be like in 10, 20 years we're gonna be thinking like where the fuck is a dollar bill? Like you know what I mean? Like that's like kind of the hope. Yeah. But so there is no there is no way to get your money out though to to make it physical. I mean, there's Bitcoin machines, which is strange. I've never used one. But if you go to gas stations, there's like Bitcoin machines, like buy Bitcoin or like transfer your Bitcoin or whatever. But it's really just you can sell your Bitcoin, you know, for like cash, and then that money you can go and transfer into your bank account. Oh no shit. Yeah. So like oh, you buy so you, you buy cryptocurrency on things called exchanges, which is like there are different places that actually hold Bitcoin, and you buy it, and then you hold it, and then like you can just sell it for i guess whatever you have there's places that accept bitcoin you can send bitcoin to another address you can just uh, they're called wallets so each person has a wallet so i could send my bitcoin to your wallet like venmo shit right and the whole thing is like it's supposed to be instant and it's supposed to be non-traceable that's the whole thing the way bitcoin started it was like super black so market anybody yeah. wants to sell some drugs basically. <laughs> that's, yeah that's what a lot of people think it is because it that's really how it started and became popular it was like a really uh, safe way to buy and sell shit on the black market it was like super just non-traceable like even if the feds knew you were buying and selling shit like they couldn't even see it they couldn't even track it or prove it or anything like that like it's completely separate from like the government and the feds and like the systems are like it's decentralized you know it's like there's no central place where it like see that's so odd to me because it's 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 more than like yo if i lose this little chip that mm -hmm. puts like i'm broke it's right. and that's scary though there's no bank you can't keep it at yeah i mean a little yeah. bit right yeah because you could essentially lose your life if someone steps 100%. on your chip or something yeah there's there's it. cases of that people will have like 30 bitcoin like when they bought it a whole bunch of years ago and they can't get into the account this guy has like i think it's like a few i want to say it's almost a few million dollars worth of bitcoin and he doesn't know the password no. and if you have more than 10 password accounts it completely like deletes your account and he's on his ninth attempt he's on his ninth attempt and he doesn't know the password so he's about to lose like a few million dollars and he's just like <laughs> that's not fair <laughs> yeah it's fucked so that's it is like fair. it's it's really early i feel like like we're just talking about it in its baby infant stages so there'll be like fixes and better ways to buy it and like because that's the main thing holding it back in my opinion like having to like tell like every single person this you know what i mean like every yeah. single person wants to know what cryptocurrency is but it's such a lengthy explanation like it needs to get to a point where it's like oh it's just digital money you know what i mean and like people yeah. understand it instantly so it needs to be a lot more accessible to everybody because you're like i don't even like most people don't even know how to buy it you know you have to buy it on certain exchanges have to like get an app like create an account and like no transfer problem. your money and it's like it's a lot of shit, you know? It needs to be just like, boom, buy. You already currency. don't understand real money. Most, the average person's like. Yeah, true. You just get a dollar bill true. and you assume it's worth a dollar and you trade it for like this and you're like, okay, that's nice. So you trade one Bitcoin, I guess right now for like $53,000, you can trade one 53? car. 53? Yeah, one Bitcoin is like $53,000, I think. It was like, buy I mean, it's train. started. Buy that train with that. And they can't <laughs> figure out how to do a goddamn password recovery? I guess oh, it's. That's <laughs> unreal, dude. Yeah. $53,000 for Bitcoin. My homie was buying it when it was like sixteen or 13000 Exactly. Wait, you're saying exactly. you get a physical chip? Are you saying that right? No, it's like a USB, right? You get it that for... Can, that you can get... How do you hold your Bitcoin? How do you log into your Bitcoin? Is it like a card or something? It's uh, You can have... There's like different... Pa one's called like a passphrase. Like different exchanges will have different things. Um, you'll have a physical password that you're supposed to write down and never lose. Oh, like a, just in a case. password. Yeah. And then you'll have the one that you create, whatever one you want. And then there's like two factor, like three factor authentication and a whole lot of shit to get into it. So like, it's really secure, like to get into it, but you have like two passwords. I thought something. it was like on a card, like on some villain shit. My bad. This whole time. That's why I was saying, what are some steps on your shit? Are you done? No, I that's, no, that's, you that's the whole thing is, is it's not physical. Like you don't hold it. Like it's oh, not. I thought it was like something you had to hold, like plug in, look how much fucking money's on my chip. No, it's like you just pull it up, I guess, on your phone or like pull up whatever, like just like you would a bank account, you know, it's Damn, just like numbers on the screen at the time, end of the day. I'm, sober bro this whole time i thought you had okay 
Do dispensaries about. take Bitcoin right now, or is that not whoa? A thing? Maybe in the whoa. future. That's crazy. So if one Bitcoin is worth fifty three thousand mm-hmm. dollars, how do you go buy an eighth at the shop? You can if divide. They took, if they took Bitcoin. You can divide Bitcoin into like point zero 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 zero, like <gasps> however, like it, there's a like I don't even know how many denominations you can put, but like it's like what? ten or something like that. Ten decimal. Oh, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, so you can send someone like point zero 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 one of Bitcoin. a Bitcoin. Yeah, and it'll be like or someone people someone like sent me sixty dollars right now. Point <laughs> five 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 five. Like, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> people will say like, oh, I own half a Bitcoin. It'll be like, damn, okay, you got like thirty. You got thirty racks on you. Yeah. How does it start? Like, how do you get your first Bitcoin without trading cash for it, or do you just buy it with cash? Uh, you can, I guess, buy it with cash if you have like a bank account. But I guess you need a bank account first. A lot of these exchanges will convert your money into Bitcoin and then give Bitcoin into your account and then you have that Bitcoin. Gotcha. I thought it might be some members only shit. Somebody's got to give you a little piece. Now you're in. Oh, no, you can. Anyone can buy <laughs> Bitcoin or He's any like, cryptocurrency at any time. Fuck, I'm so bad. That shit just confused me so hard. The real future is NFTs. If you wanted to get in some fucking Yo, crazy shit. What did I say the other day? My friends, I was, I haven't hung out with people in a long time. It's been fucking, it's been a virus NFTs going on. NFTs are right? the fucking future, bro. I could talk about those. No, that's what I'm saying. I was yeah. in the fucking room for the first time with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. With my homies, we were just sitting there chilling. And someone brings up NFT. I go, what does that mean? And so stood up. <laughs> All right, Thomas, this is what you're going to need to know. I go, fuck this. I'm confused. Well, All, let me explain what I think NFTs are. Mm-hmm. And then you tell me if All I'm right, right. right. Let's hear it. So NFT is like, say that meme. You know that meme in me, Marty, that I'm smoking a giant bowl with a torch? Nice. And it's that fucking meme that gets uh-huh. passed around. We, had, we posed a good question about this okay. already, right? So that's like saying I own that. And if mm-hmm. I wanted to sell that to somebody, that original post, like it's the blockchain something mm-hmm. is original. what we were trying to figure out is okay you got that something. meme of elon musk smoking the weed yeah yeah who yeah. owns it is it rogan or the is guy it that made the elon meme? or is it the dude that made that's, the meme see exactly that's the question that's what nfts answer like you will be able to click on it and say like oh he's the owner. no but who owns it the one that who, how do you is on joe rogan's show mm-hmm. it's elon musk but who's the guy that snaps out of the picture and made the meme who gets credit who's allowed to sell it whoever's the I mean, first one to upload it as an NFT, I suppose. Damn. Are you fucking Like, serious? of those three people, yeah. I mean, you could have an official one, but the thing is, like... Can I just take a picture of you and make an NFT and then make money off you? That's not right. You could. He's saying but I'm saying that if I were to make one, then the whole belief is that, like, it's not, like, authentic. Like, if you were to just take a picture of me, it hopefully, like, the belief is that wouldn't sell as much as if I took, like, a picture because it's from me. You know what I mean? And you would be able to prove that it's from me and it, it's not just a picture of me. How would we be able to prove it's from you though? Like That's the whole NFT thing. Like you can click on it and prove ownership just from like the very unique hash that it creates. So we're saying before this podcast comes out Monday, I have to make mm-hmm. an NFT of that picture before somebody else does. Because we're talking about it now. That shit yeah. was probably sailed. I, if you I, go on, yeah, if you go on OpenSea, which is the main place you buy NFTs, and you type in like Joe Rogan, I'm sure there's like hundreds of actual pictures of that. So maybe it's oversaturated already, you know. But it it'll oh, all just oh, break. I see what yeah, you're saying. it'll it's not all like just a one of one. Exactly. It all it will be a one of one. But maybe Joe Rogan actually yeah. does post it. So like, do you get the first like a verified profile on that platform so you know like you could follow an artist when they release? Right. Correct. And then oh. people have like their own marketplaces and their own shit that they sell and stuff like that so So it's really cool for artwork but the main thing that nfts are going to be cool for is like the transfer of goods so like i said you can like prove intellectual ownership and everything of a file so i think in the future it's going to completely replace like paperwork and all that nonsense like signing leases or transferring cars or like doing all this shit that's like stacks of paperwork or all this like mortgages and all this bullshit it's just going to be oh you want to buy my house i'm going to give you this nft and you prove ownership it's like boom it's done Think that's where it's gone? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking If behind. you could do that with cryptocurrency, you'd cancel out like all Anything banks you need to do forever. Yeah, exactly. Shit, exactly. Know. And that's why like banks are like scared of it. Like that's why banks are always talking about like cryptocurrency is going to be the future because they realize like. Well, who, who's owner would, of these cryptocurrencies? Aren't they essentially the bank? Not necessarily. There's a finite amount of cryptocurrency. Uh, most cryptocurrency like bitcoin there's a finite amount of it yeah and then you just buy like a certain amount of how much is out there i, I get that, no one say, the guy that made, say the guy that created the program or right. however it no works. one knows who made bitcoin just, oh, oh really yeah. yeah 
What if it's Bank of America? <laughs> then fuck. Then, <laughs> then everything's Marble. fucked. Then everything's fucked. Marble. And if it is government, we don't give a fuck. We're just laughing here. Uh, Please don't get mad at us. I'm sorry if that's true. We're, yeah. we're fucking high. Who gives a fuck? I think there's like theories about Nobody's who made it. People know who made like Ethereum. It's like some Russian guy, I think. Really? Yeah. Is it fair to say that the idea though is that it's the user base that owns it because like- Correct. You don't have to pay overdraft fees. We well, then again, you can't, can you pay- can you pay your car insurance with Bitcoin? That's what hopefully is going to be the future. Oh, so when people, it's accepted as right, a like currency. like Tesla, just like you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin now. Like that was like a big thing. Like people are like, oh shit, like that's crazy. What? Yeah, you can buy a Tesla. Well, new, right? That's in like the past month or so. Right. right. That was like in the past few weeks. Yeah, where are you guys seeing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> where do you guys both agree? Like, yep, that was the last one. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Where do you see your news? Uh, where are you guys getting this news? What do you look at? What do you uh, look I look at? at Reddit and Twitter, honestly. Fuck, I look at Twitter. I don't know. Reddit's too I don't know. Reddit's, Reddit's some nerdy shit. I've never but been like, on, I don't bro. post on Reddit, on but it it's once. a fucking... They post some crazy shit on there. It just like it just keeps you updated what? on some random shit. Oh, fuck. I ain't trying to do all that shit. It's just all like words, like links. On yeah, it, it's not the best user experience. It looks like shit. I can't but do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> old computer fucking looks like, loading screen. So yeah. is there a huge disparity in the NFTs between people getting a lot of money, like the top 01 percentile, and then mm -hmm. the rest of people like getting to five, like five or damn near? Uh, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, 100%. But that's just like how most things are. You know what I mean? But there's definitely a set amount of NFT creators that are just like super hyped that have like audiences that are making like really? thousands and thousands of dollars just off of their illustrations and stuff. And there's hundreds, maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that are trying to be those people. Like if you go on OpenSea, there's just... OpenSea? So, yeah, OpenSea is like what the marketplace is, the exchange for all these NFTs. <sighs> so you can search there. There's like a whole bunch of crazy shit. It's honestly pretty tight. You gotta get on the internet. Yeah, it's so sick. It's so you gotta sick. Stop watching dude. Chopped and YouTube is compilations. Would you say it's mostly like illustrative or is it like mo like a lot of motion graphics and stuff? Uh, like it's that whatever. Oh, okay. these it's artists not just have. pictures? Oh, it's not just pictures. It can be like motion graphics. Like it's like there's um there's something called um what's beeple crap? <laughs> I saw this dude. He was doing oh, all these political you, things, and he nice. just he had like I bet multi that's millions. NFT? I bet you that's so. Why would somebody want to buy that? It's just the belief that it holds. Like, why would someone buy like the original Mona Lisa? Like, I don't know. It's just like a classic piece. Because they wanted to post that shit. And it's a flex. somebody post it's a flex. it, can't they just screenshot it and take the what they paid for? But you don't own it. You can click it and say, "Oh, he's not the original owner." Let's click it. Oh, he How has. Do you know the, that if it's the original owner. The whole uh, the NFT, like you can prove ownership. Like I was saying, you know I'm saying, like, say somebody on Instagram looks at your post and goes, "This fool has got a random shit. He's not the owner." How do you mm -hmm. prove it? Do you gotta go like? On the whole, like open C, that, that's why it needs to be more accessible. I feel like, like the answer is blockchain, but I don't understand why. Yeah, block. You go through the blockchain, like it's all on the blockchain. Million dollars. Yes, a sixty-nine million. I think that's like every NFT or like a collage of all the things he's made or something. But it's sold for a stupid amount of money. But it's just like why stupid pieces, like art sculptures or art, sell for hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. Like it's gonna be pretty crazy. I think so. This is pretty crazy too. There's gonna be. I've seen it before. There's digital display frames and that. that'll just be like, they'll just be empty and you scan it, do whatever, and you can upload your NFT. And Isn't then it's crazy? like a physical that's, way to hold your that's NFT. That's cool. It's crazy. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. Project it on your wall. Yeah, exactly. Frame. Or mm -hmm. like in the future, people are saying like your hotel room or whatever you visit would just be empty and it'll just be like upload whatever artwork you want. Mm. I like what that. I can mm. see that. You guys ever seen Ready Player One? Yes. Is that where we're headed? Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. That shit was a little intense right now, but I can see it being like, it's more user friendly. What? Yeah. It's it imaginary needs now, but <laughs> wow. I just feel like that not use of, not being able to hold something and mm -hmm. see something and touch is so weird. Like, oh, I right. bought this art for $32 million. Where's it at? Check that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's on your phone. It's on my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm the owner. Watch. See that number has me. Like, yeah, they're like, damn. Shit. But it's, yeah, eventually it it's gonna rich. be like, damn. Yeah, like that right. is you. It's gonna be like, oh, all shit, it's gonna like, take is World Star to start yeah. posting. NFTs are sick, <laughs> and then boom! I swear to God, World Star is the opening to like the culture right now. Mm -hmm. It is like it, when you asked where I got my news, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> World Star, World Star. Nice. Here's another Fuck cool yeah. thing that you can do with NFTs though. So let's say that you wanted to um, have push trees, have like ownership or spread ownership or like get an investing round or something. You could sell like say five 
um, you could sell five NFTs and say they represent like 5% of your company each and just say however much like, you know what I mean? Whoever buys that NFT for however much you say, for however much worth like fucking horse trees is, like let's say it's like $5 million, right? And then you give them 5%. And then now they are like a part-time owner, uh, part-time owner of your company. You get the money legally. Yeah, with no contract. No contract. It's NFT. What like if I a, wrote you own five percent of this company, and they come at me like, "Yo, I own five percent." Like, yeah, you own five percent of this company, but I see you get any of the profits. <laughs> well, I mean, if we ever sell, you get five percent. Is that what right. I can do? Because that's fucked up. I mean, I suppose so, but I hopefully in the NFT and like you can have a whole lot of like data behind the NFT and like a script or a contract that's oh, all combined so with the, the one NFT. Right. There's that you can have a file as an NFT. You could have oh. data as an NFT. You could have like, like I said, you could that's transfer you ownership and like houses. You could transfer. You can do whatever with NFTs because you can prove ownership. That. That's the biggest thing. As a what graphic artist, fuck? it's a complete game changer. That gives reason to like do graphics if you're yeah. not commission form. As a graphics artist too, the the biggest thing for a graphics artist, you make money off of the second sale, like on the third sale and the fourth sale. You always get a percentage of the NFT sale if you're the original oh, creator. Shit. What do you mean? Because you can mean? prove, you, you can go back and see and prove who originally owned it. So let's say I tell you, I sell you like a NFT for $5 and then you sell it to him for 10, I'll get a portion of that $10 sale. And then when he sells it, I'll get a portion of that yeah. whatever sale. What? <laughs> so it's a way for artists. Yes, exactly. So it's a way for artists to just like it's automatic. These. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like a car title, damn near, but plus the royalties. But it's keeping track of who owned it, who created it, or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. So and you could just always. I didn't more. know. I didn't realize any of this. Yeah. Cool. Crazy. I feel like I'm back in school right now, and I just got so lost. <laughs> and confused. And I feel like what? <laughs> well, the coolest part about that, uh, the the ownership part that I was saying, like if you wanted to sell 5% and have it represent 5%, if that person wanted to get out of the company and sell it to somebody else and say like, hey, this stake of push trees is whatever, like $5 million, like here, you can have it now. And they buy, buy it for 5 million, then you get that sale again. And then they're now they're an owner. Whoa. That's pretty simple, even though it sounds complex. Yeah. It's just like you transfer ownership it's really just easily. Wild of things. That you can still get money. It's like, yo, I went and sold you a pound. Every sack you sell, you fucking <laughs> yeah. give me a little bit of that. Just money. a little For bit. Every ten bro. sack, I need a dollar. Uh, you wish, right? Wouldn't that be fucking awesome? I would be <laughs> owning this warehouse right now instead of running it. What? Exactly. That's why it's so fucking sick, especially for artists and people trying to like having problems with like people stealing their shit. Everything, if you put it in weed terms, I get it. What about music producers that instead of just amazing. selling beats on SoundClick or whatever? They're... Yeah, SoundCloud. You could have, uh, yeah, there's musical files that you could put That's as an NFT. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are uh, dropping like. Do people do NFTs that are only for a certain term? Like you get it, but you got it for a year, then it's mine again? Um, I'm not exactly sure. That'd be weird. I don't think so. I, I think once you own it, you own it. Mm. Could you imagine fools are going to be flexing hard online? About their NFTs, like, like bro. This, I know some shoes. people that are. Like with the phone, phone. There's open NFT phone. shoes. There's NFT shoes. No cat. What does that mean? They're just shoes that you're, you're like, yo, look at these shoes. Oh, you're like, what? as a picture. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the picture is the NFT? Yeah, yeah. Look okay. up NFT shoes. So if this is like true. Like when you were on Madden and you got like, oh, I got the Fast Feet card. Oh, I got the Golden Hands card. Exactly. Yeah, look at my cards online. Like when people 100%. show you Call of Duty guns. Look yeah. at all gold. Full. Or like trading cards. It's like, why is that Pokemon card worth $3,000? Like you're tripping. It's like, nah, it is. I'm like 100%. There's only a few of them in the world. See, like, I gotta yada, get yada, yada. the whole tangible thing. Right. I'm like, yeah, this card right here, three bands. <laughs> but I can go, yo, this thing. Oh, my phone died. Fuck. Hold on, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so crazy. I gotta get over that. Look at those bad yo, boys. What? Look at those bad boys. These sneakers were made for your digital closet. You can have a digital. This is the world. You can own. Oh. You can own digital real estate, and it's the future. What? You can what you own. Mean? There's a place called like Decentraland, is what they call it, and it's a giant world, and people are just like building. Like you own certain parts of the world and people are like building advertisements for themselves or like doing this or like. How do other people see it? Just yeah. going in like this and like the actual, like if they were to go into the world too, like they would see that. Is you it like a it. VR? No, it's like a game on your like computer. Oh, mm -hmm. oh shit. That's like advertising on GTA. Yeah. Right? It's nuts. See, like Samsung's into it. Samsung ads. Yo, this is fucking insane. As people going back to Sims. 
But when like, I put on that Oculus Rift, I'm like, oh, I yo, can see how people could. Ocu- have live you there. tried the VR shit? It's yes, dude. It's awesome. It's actually man. awesome. Yeah, look up uh, NFT real estate and see if that's perhaps. What? That's it's yo, insane. you're blowing my fucking mind right now. I, I didn't know it was that. getting like that. All people are into it. Yeah, you just buy a little piece of digital digital ownership. Well, it's then again, it's like somebody be like, I own part of the moon. I own this star. If you, you want to go mean? on the actual marketplace, I think that would be best. Oh, on OpenSea? O-P-E-N-C, all one word. Marty's computer's going to start crashing right now. <laughs> from all these you sites. can just see, bro. You will see the prices of these in your mind. will be just fucking like, what the hell is going on? A lot of people say it's just like drug money. Because, you know, you can buy a lot of drugs with Bitcoin. They're like, what the fuck do I do with all this money? It's like, I'm going to buy some art that hopefully will just increase in value, yeah. you know, appreciate in value. And now you're not a drug dealer. You're an event, art, art no, collector. No, open C, uh, S-E-A. Open S-E-A. What? Yeah. There it is. The NFT Marcus marketplace. marketplace. Golden State Warriors NFT. So their people have like their trading cards. What? And people have their can you buy the something water. more than once? Like, or is it only it, originals? Uh, it depends. So the trading uh, cards. Is there yeah, there will card? there will be only one of most of them. Oh, it's like Giphy. Mm-hmm. So that thing is eight cents. It is point zero five of an Ethereum. So if you click of it, an Ethereum, yeah. that's the dollar of theirs. Sure. Right, it, they use Ethereum, so it's like Bitcoin. Like just think of it as like Bitcoin. So that one's point two. So if you want to just click on any of them, I think it'll show the actual price. What? So 0.8 Ethereum is 2,000. That's two racks right there. So then you buy it and it goes to your OpenSea profile that you have like a grid of. Right. And now you own it. What? So they're just charging really expensive Instagram posts. (laughs) But saying, yo, I'm the owner of this. That is fucking People are bidding too. People are bidding on it. Or it's just one guy just reselling. Never mind. But there's some people that actually bid on this. So this guy is just like trying to sell this desperately. So there's a lot of people like this. Like this is a good example of someone who's making NFTs and just trying to like, you know what I mean? Like he has got an idea. He's He's trying to make it that. Yeah, he's just trying to like see it at a price that someone's gonna buy it at. So maybe it's not really. Can Nike come at him and get get him for having that Nike logo? I mean, maybe they could probably ask for some of the profits. Right? That's crazy as fuck because now it's got me thinking. It's too bad. The crypto punks are the craziest ones. Crypto punks. There they are. Crypto punks, bro. These sell for thousands and thousands. Look, 86 Ethereum is that one right there. 86 Ethereum. That must be like fucking 400 bands. Yeah. That's like. That for that. For that. That's a crypto punk right there, man. He's a unique character. If you um, click on any of them and then you click on the properties, like right there where your mouse is. It's like only a certain percent, only 5% have that bandana of all crypto punks. Pretty oh, rare. This Pretty just rare. got crazy. Yeah, bro. bro. The big shades, only 5% have that. This is so adult on. fucking Pokemon cards you right here, five percent. Wow. You got two 5% things right there. It's, it's a rich, rare one. Rich it's guy one. Pokemon trading cards. I can't wait until fools were in the fucking bars trying to pick up girls. Like, yo, you know what NFT is? Just casually flashing you know the profile. There's like, there's no way you have a crypto punk. They get all fucking wet. <laughs> <laughs> you get all fucking wet. <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to be. Yo, this just blew my mind. Are you serious? Thank you for the education. <laughs> so I have to make that before somebody else does, guys. I have to. And I'm going to sell it for $9,000. <laughs> or shit, maybe I should ask for more. I don't know. What, how much are... Well, they have $69 million. Never mind. Give me a million dollars. I'll be happy with that. Hmm. So what about the guy that took the picture of me and I want to sell? Does he get profit of that or should I... If you want to like, arrange something like that, yeah. Oh, you okay. could arrange something like in the code of the NFT that like <sighs> photographer gets like yada, yada, yada. Of the, Yo, Marty, can you please learn all this computer shit with this NFT so we can make some model fucking money? <laughs> Bro, if you release I'm some NFTs, slipping. it'll be fucking all, insane. I'm fucking slipping. As a graphic all, artist and computer you, website designer. If you come out with some NFTs, it'll be insane. If you what? come out with dope as your NFTs, so, people will be like, oh shit. What about the uh, the thing we sent out the other day, the free lock screens that people can get of our background? Should have been an NFT. Would have made that fucking a stupid amount is of money. an NFT, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So I could say, here's the link. Everybody can have it. But you're not the original owner. Is there some NFTs like that? Right. Uh, wait, what'd you say? That I could trade. Like, yo, you can get the link there. You can have it. It's original, but you're not the only owner. It's one of 5,000. Yeah, there's some NFTs that are like one of 20. Or like, okay. It really doesn't okay, go okay. one of 5,000, but it really goes like one of 20, one of 50. Like one of, Whoa, fools are going to be fucking flexing their phone. Oh, like my God. Yes, bro. Exactly. You said you already you see people doing that? Yes, bro. You just like, uh, I follow a guy on Instagram. He's like, 
when one of your pages has like 1.5 million on it and it's just like six NFTs. Like it's just a screenshot of like six NFTs. <laughs> so if you lose that password, you lose all your NFTs also? Damn near. Ooh. That's but it's like hard. a really secure, like that's why you're supposed to have like a physical one. That's why you're supposed to have like an actual like digital password and one that never changes. You can have one that changes, but you have one that's called like your passphrase or something. It's like 10 different words or 10 different, like it's as long as something. You're supposed to keep physically like at all times, Yo. like just in case some like oh crazy shit God, goes down. This is insane! <laughs> Holy shit! This this the world's getting fucking insane. Bro, yeah. yeah, Brady Player imagine One. When, imagine when a billboard just has a scannable thing and it's like, if you want to buy this like little NFT, like uh-huh. this billboard's an NFT, like buy it. You can put whatever the fuck you want here. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh my God. We're getting to the future. Fifth element shit's happening. Our cars are going to start fucking flying, dude. I feel it. All right. Thank you for educating me on that. That was awesome. Of course. Appreciate it. Cryptocurrency and NFTs. You're learning here today on the uh, channel, everybody. Thank you for everybody in the car that just got put on game. Buy some NFTs. Buy, yeah, buy some man. shit. Buy some cryptocurrency. Now I'm thinking it's... like, okay, so that's how it works. Because now it makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just buying a debit card bank account that I don't use. I just, hey, here's my password. Here's my Bitcoin, my mm-hmm. wallet, right? Right. I learned and I remembered. Good shit. See, man, I need school. <laughs> <laughs> you got the <laughs> internet, <laughs> man. Fuck school. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching the podcast. Today's ad read is brought to you by us. This is Push Trees. This is our clothing company, if you don't know that. We started in 2013. It's a streetwear brand. Very weed-influenced uh, designs. It's just fun shit, all right? There's a lot of fun stuff. Shit that I think is funny. Designs we've made over the years. If you guys want to check it out, it's pushtrees.com. We got wallets just dropped. Cool-ass two-pound metal ashtray slash weapon things. They're fucking awesome. Check them out. So, guys, it's not really an ad read. We just want to let you guys know. Check out pushtrees.com. Back to the episode. I'm fucking high. You know how hard that was right now? Are you fucking kidding me? Piece of shit, Cricket. <laughs> so you started 2016, 17. I got on there like, like end of 18. Mm-hmm. And when I got on there, there was only like, like I tell Marty a lot, like there's, it's hard to watch content. I'm sure you don't follow a shitload of YouTubers. Right. Saying, right. It's yeah, hundred percent. Right. People ask me my favorite YouTuber, and I was like, bro, I watch like two, maybe yeah, three. Yeah, I, I watch like maybe like one or two if I have time. Because it's not like, oh, I'm not support. It's not you're not supporting. No, like Dude, I click yeah. spot thumbs up. So I do that shit. It's, 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 it's people like you smoke weed on the internet. It gets it, ah, fuck. How do I put this without being an asshole? It's a job, way more than you think it is. And I'm not trying mm-hmm. to sound ungrateful. It's awesome i fucking love it, love it. Mm-hmm. but it's, it's more it's, than just smoking it's weed. more than just smoking and the weed is like okay cool we got the weed ready cool all right make sure everything else is going make sure these are, are the lights on is this going is the mic's going okay cool go and the edit and you know what i mean like i do my skeleton edits and marty's the one that edits all our crazy shit mm-hmm. all the shit you see that's like yeah all the, the crazy fuck? little thing that's yeah. him yeah. he does all the wild shit so when i got on there there was like three or four weed tubers and i saw yours and that's when I went, oh, okay, there are still people. Because I said, mm-hmm. I focus on Instagram and all that bullshit. Remember I said yeah. that? That's how we got off topic. Fuck. <laughs> so I didn't realize there was a world in YouTube. And when I got on there, there was very few people. So you said you started seeing what you said. You, got, you saw Custom Grow on there. And who else? Uh, Custom Grow is on there. Silenced Hippie. Um, let's see. There's like Crutch420. There's Matthias. And they got deleted, you said? Yeah, all of them got deleted. It Fuck. was fucked up. Yeah, it was really they fucked up. They don't do it at all no more? Uh, most of them are still in the game. The ones that I just mentioned are still in the game, and they're still okay, doing good, it, which is cool. Good, Silence Hippie is like I know, I know they're awesome. on Instagram. Yeah, but I yeah. know about YouTube, because I, I know follow her on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're going... Yeah, they go... Uh, they came back on YouTube. Most of them did. And if they didn't, they just started making... I think videos again a couple years later when like I guess they realized they wouldn't get deleted again. Yeah. So a lot of them started back up again. Yeah, dude. So when I I, I brought it up earlier, that's why I was saying when I got on there, it was like you. I saw you and a couple other people, and thinking, okay, there's still this because you know, it's not like a competition thing. It's like I want to see other people doing the same shit that we're doing, right? And like maybe like fuck that was sick. All right, we're gonna do a next video. Like you're not gonna ever gonna bite your shit it's more like you did a great fucking job on that let me see if i can do some shit all right yeah. he did oh fuck yeah that was sick yeah. it's more like oh fuck it's like when basketball players are dunking like oh yeah. fuck all right. right now i gotta think that was mm-hmm. badass you know what i mean yeah 100%. like holy shit it's like 
fuck yeah how much better can it get <laughs> yeah. you know that's how i feel about that shit so when it got on there and i feel like there's only like you and uh, there's not a lot of other people when i first right. started that are still doing active youtube mm -hmm. or they got deleted right yeah, yeah exactly see that's what i think that's why my channel blew up so much because people were fucking just that's looking exactly what topic. you were looking yeah, remember exactly. that's how we got that topic. damn we fuck i ramble so hard my bad <laughs> rant i don't even know how i got off topic so that's a, such a cool little fucking thing though when it got deleted and you're still there right and you're saying you made it through the deletions a little like yeah maybe because you know, you're not like showing crazy weed packs and yeah shit. Maybe that's, that's what, why yeah too. i think that's why as well and i was like more of like Maybe like half the video was smoking, but a lot of other was like vlogging or like posting mm -hmm. some other shit, like jokes with the homies or like, yeah. you know what I mean? It wasn't just like too explicit to where it's like, these fools here's me taking a three slaps. gram dab and throwing up. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah like slap, like, <laughs> all that. Which I've done before, so don't yeah. say I'm, I love that shit. I'm saying that's probably why you made it through. Right. There was a time where I almost got deleted though, and it was because uh, I had some intro clips, and I would have people <laughs> submit videos to me of them just smoking weed, and it was like submitted by in this little corner. So it like you know give some recognition to the fan. It was awesome, mm -hmm. but uh, YouTube was like, yeah, you got to stop like promoting it. It was because uh, there was like some questionably young people definitely hitting me up, mm -hmm. and it would be like, yeah. And I remember well, the coolest one though, key was like this guy smoking at a GameStop. He just lit up a fat blunt at a GameStop. Oh, no. I was like, nice. I got to put that one in for oh, sure. And I think that no. got deleted. Like. <laughs> Yeah, like you're basically encouraging people. Yeah, to do exactly. This shit. Yeah, they hit you up, YouTube. No, I was trying to because I got two videos deleted and had to like delete all my videos, delete every single video. I had like a hundred videos, hundred forty videos. Or you something. deleted your videos. I had to delete every single one. I was on a trip in Colorado and I had no internet and I had to delete eight videos at a time. And it was just page. Wait, wait, all deleted, why? All deleted. Because if I got the third strike, my whole oh, channel so would have you would deleted. have no videos to strike left. Right. And <laughs> I couldn't private them. them. Yeah, I couldn't private them because uh, you at that time, if you had a private video, they would still delete it. What about unlisted? I don't know, but I don't think, I mean, I, I would imagine that like unlisted or private, they would still take your shit down because like oh, no one could see it still, but it was fucking you, you deleted up. it? I had a hell of videos, dude. And I just you had never to, uploaded them again? No. I have most of them. I have most of them, but there's some that are lost to the void, like gone forever. It's pretty fucked up. Oh. It's pretty fucked up, dude. But yeah, I was literally on a trip in Colorado and I was like having the time of my life. And the second video got deleted and I was like, dude, like at the time when I heard about all these people getting deleted, deleted and this, strike. yeah, the second and third would just be like right away. Like it would just happen in the span of like 10 minutes. So I was like, dude, I just got my second strike and then like things weren't looking good. And I was like, fuck it. And I got to delete all my videos. Now it's just fucked up. So it's like eight at a time, delete, eight at a time, delete. Just seeing all uh, those videos, like eight at a time, delete. And I was like, that hurts. And there's no way you up. backed them all up. Sometimes you forget. Yeah, I literally posted on my story. I was like, dude, I cannot back up my videos. Like I'm in the car on a trip. Like, please, someone just like back these up. And someone saved most of them. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, which is clutch as fuck. Damn. Yeah, super clutch Came guy. Came through, dude. That's yeah. epic. Right Great there. guy. Just a fucking amazing guy. And I was like, yeah, save most of them. So that was cool. But yeah, I had to delete them all. It's insane. And then I had to just like lay low, wait for like the two week band to be over. Just like started fresh. That hurts too. <laughs> it was fucked up. Oh, yeah, see, it's, that's horrible. Having to mm. delete everything, not even just getting deleted, delete is a whole nother thing. Yeah. It's, well, I mean, I guess it's the same fucking thing. At least you had the chance. Right. Which is definitely. Good At least they gave you the chance. Did you get multiple strikes or did you just get deleted it's out of nowhere? No strikes, no warnings. Deleted. 995. What? Dude. You're telling fucking me. You're telling <laughs> That's us. That's so man. fucked up. That's You're insane. No strikes, no warnings deleted. One day. Or the night we were about to hit a million. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the day you were going to hit a million, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, no. Wow. Yo, but have you seen this? We might be getting paid, man. Whoa. YouTube no might be shit. monetizing cannabis content, they said. Says who? I've, watched, I've already gotten two people sending me the article. Uh, one on Twitter, one on Instagram. I went through the link. It looks completely legit, saying that they I've might seen this article it. a bunch of times. This is this is this is a little different, but look, it might relax on some rules about uh, ad on drug related videos. Wow! Right? So I saw a straight up weed ad on Instagram. A Bro, I've been getting a lot of those. Ad. Dude, same, same, dog. I'm like, what the fuck? I screenshotted what? like two of them because I was like, no way. I YouTube was like, there's too. no way. YouTube too. So that's my what next the point. Fuck changed? YouTube is now advertising weed shit on, you know, the fucking ice cream commercial before yeah. your YouTube fucking starts. It's a weed ad because they know what you're watching. Yet what? you don't get paid. I don't get paid. Right. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Have you ever looked up the number? How much you would have gotten paid? 
oh dude it's the worst Have i you? try not yeah for sure i did like a year ago and i was like i'm not gonna look anymore like ever again <laughs> I, <know>. ah. <laughs> I looked it up over two year course and went, <gasps> yeah i was almost like bro are you bought a fucking house in West serious Hollywood, you dude <laughs> millions of views it. a month like just nothing it hurt nothing, so dude. bad dude when i saw Maybe like 30 number. cents i'm like thanks guys appreciate it google one time it just kind of like two thousand dollars dollars when i first started i go oh my god two and i was thinking this real and it shopped to like five and then it just went demonetized I'm like, fuck i should have dumped that money out <laughs> or i didn't know how it worked back then so i didn't mm -hmm. get it but um yeah i'll see like one cent two cent gone the next day like why do you even have my revenue button open like what's the point? yeah but yeah if you google that. it and you google the term oh man you see your name and you see how much money you're supposed to make <sighs> It's like a fat range, dude. It it's like sixty to six hundred thousand a month. It's like whoa. No, the, <laughs> it's I'll like show a the, random I'll show like you a the, big ass range. I'll show you the one that's precise. It goes oh. off the Google. I mean, the YouTube analytic. Oh, and the, the little CPM shit, like the exact shit. Yes, wow. it hurts oh. so bad. That's fucked. I haven't Bro, seen that. Bro, you're one at now. least over a mil. Solid legal million dollar money. It's so fucked. So <laughs> we might get it. Wow. If they start comes, allowing dude, us, bro. Yeah. If they start allowing us to get paid. That'd be insane, bro. I wonder if, like, I wonder if that's off the back of something else. Like, I wonder if they know something. Like, these big corporations are like, something's going to be legal soon. 2022. For sure. I'm calling it. Shit. 2022. Yeah. They're yeah. getting ready for it. Like, all these, they, they know, they, they, I bet they have the insider on whatever's they, yeah, going on. They're fucking huge, bro. Exactly. They got, they got it all. Do you ever do the surveys at the top of Google? Oh, YouTube would like to take a survey. Do you ever do them? No. I do them all the time. So they're like, you know what? He chipped in. I just wanted to be like, yo, leave me the fuck. And the overlords. Is like, <laughs> every time they ask me to do something, I'm like, that's so sad. Oh, of course. <laughs> Survey. Oh, Hispanic. <laughs> what do you identify as? Male. I'll do it 60 times if I have to. Hey, YouTube, leave us alone, man. Yo, you get fucking play. You got deleted off Instagram and got it back. He got it back. Yeah. That's mm, not easy. How? Twice. The fuck? How'd you get it back? The first time I did, um, I just like spammed all those like, uh, yeah, the appeal. I had to fucking take the picture of myself and shit. Isn't it so stupid? <laughs> it's goofy. It's, so like, I have them in my uh, like photo album. Saved? Like, no, no. Just, just over the course of how much you can delete it, like, you can see it like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have to put like both hands exactly or mm -hmm. they don't think it's you or something. <laughs> face and your driver's license. Bro, yeah. But the second time, the craziest thing, I didn't even have to do that. I just got like just one day. Like just I was looking. Back? Yeah. I didn't even, yeah, it was fucking insane. Like, wow. I looked at my profile on another person's phone. They're like, what's your backup account? And I was like, all right, I gave it to you. And then I saw my real account like pop up. Like, what the fuck? And I clicked it and it was up. And I was like, what? Wow. Yeah, it was insane. Good fucking feeling. Yeah, it was an insane feeling, bro. I was like, there's no way. Bro, man. I'm so upset at Instagram. I just don't even like care as much anymore. It hurts so bad. Fuck it. We're on account dude. 20 fucking three. Yeah, I was going to ask how many times you've 23. Been and I ate a cookie the other day. God, I talked about a collaboration I'm gonna do, and they deleted the video and goes, "We're probably gonna delete your account. Your account may be deactivated." You ever yeah. see that? I'm like, oh man, this ain't a cookie. It's like maybe. <laughs> it's a it's like, come on, cookie. Jeez, that's so, fucked, bro. So yeah, do seeing you get it back the other day it was fucking tight. Like, no way, somebody won. Yeah, I know, oh, bro. Shit. It's just like fucking yes, yeah, like you beat the system. Yes, like, Instagram will show fun. you somebody with their like head blown off though, bus behind that I sensitive know, content or some screen. Real We've talked shit, about it before. Man. There's a girl. I don't know if she's still got her page because I saw it on the Explore page. Mm -hmm. On the Explore page, there's a fucking skinny Mexican, like pretty Mexican girl, mm -hmm. and she hits fucking Chris in a pookie. Like as she does her makeup and gets ready and talks, like vlogs, hitting a fucking pookie pipe. <laughs> a pookie, like a meth pipe. That's her right as an she American. Had 40 something thousand followers, bro. Right? Shouldn't it Instagram be? Instagram let it. And I'm saying they let her do shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they won't let me tag my own yeah. legal company. So that's fucking insane. <laughs> that is insane. I had to blur weed out. This bitch is hitting fucking crystal meth. They deleted it with the blurred weed. And yep, with wow. the blurred weed, still deleted my shit. It's doing her wow. makeup though. Come on. But for as long as we've been working together, you've never posted weed on Instagram. Nope, still it's got been deleted. Clean over a year, and they still deleted it. <sighs> it's all good though. We're we're winning. Fucking Instagram, dude. Fuck Instagram, man. It's okay, That's one crazy. day. Those Facebook. It's when, when Facebook bought him, man. Mark Zuckerberg. He's a little lizard guy. He's scary. Yeah, he's I don't want to say too weird. much. He's scary though. He creeped me out. I saw the one where they're giving him a 
interview and he's just like oh, in court <laughs> like damn we look nervous <laughs> what did you do i didn't know what it was about were they like, questioning his ass right yeah oh but that's like, why he looked nervous okay yeah. i got you got you then you were guilty because <laughs> if no someone's asking me some shit like i heard you're a piece of shit and you're a thief like, ask away motherfucker what do you want to know you're a liar damn dude i didn't know they were questioning him because he yeah. looked i just saw the memes of him like drinking water like oh like a little nervous. yeah i think it's about like privacy laws or something like facebook is being invasive and the government was like yeah what are you doing well they're definitely like, listening to your phone oh for sure every time they say something the it's the first thing that pops up on my youtube search oh my god all the like, time yo, or google or instagram it's all like, like, what the yeah. like fuck boom. pops up and i get an ad <laughs> there's big warnings now when you go to run an ad it says with ios 14 be warned privacy settings have changed and your ads aren't going to reach nearly as many people that's like oh. all over the ad manager now. There's these banners. Oh, wow. I, I'm assuming it's probably related to this. Because. Right. I don't understand the internet. I just know that's how to crazy. make videos uh, and put them on there. That's yeah, I was going to say. That's, yeah. that's as far as I know. I learned. Uh, come on, man. Internet's on, a crazy man. place. You just explained NFT and cryptocurrency. They're not <laughs> brand new. <laughs> I've heard them many times. Never really learned. I learned what the Republicans and Democrats were, I think, on the first couple of episodes of this podcast. All right. That's the time I learned. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. No, we sat here and just displayed how much we don't know, I think. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's, really that's more shit. what I should have said. Yeah, dude, I'm very ignorant. <laughs> I'm mad ignorant. All I do is sell drugs. Do you ever get that bullshit where people are like, bro, are you not, you're not posting about this? Like, where's the activism at? And I feel like yeah, it's just like I want time, like I want this like, like I want this page to be like an escape for like from all that shit. I've you know said that I mean? and like, got attacked. And then I went, I still believe that. Yeah. That I don't have to talk about everything because why would I have to? Right. I feel like you like should use your to make platform you feel for this. For like, don't make me feel guilty for people's wrongdoings. I, I know. You're not speaking it's like, out about it just as bad. It's just as bad. Are you, oh, all right, fuck you. That's how <laughs> I feel like. I know you get that shit too. Dude, I get that shit all the time. I know it's so, like I said, it's so wild to talk to somebody that knows exactly what the <laughs> fuck i'm talking about word for word <laughs> it's so bomb and now you just moved here and Let's started go. a company yeah. it's like yo you sound exactly like me and i fucking love you <laughs> like, good i'm glad man because the first time i met you i was like oh sick just smoke cool. weed, Woo. Just smoke weed. Yeah. Yeah. it actually smokes weed i like this mm -hmm. and yeah man i'm glad you're here and we can smoke fucking weed yes, yes i know exactly, it sounds like bro. excited happy to smoke weed but yeah it's yeah i've been in my house for a year you know, I mean, <laughs> oh, it's cool true. to chill with some fools oh. that smoke weed dude it's so different in texas everything was open back up I had like oh you had a whole different experience bars open COVID. clubs open for the past few months that i was there like everything was open just a pop in restaurants been dining the, since like end of last year like what seven, the seven fuck months. yeah what was it uh are the are the cases up or down they're down the cases are down yeah so i think that's the thing in floor or the two most lax laws when it comes to covid restrictions have the least are like are seeing the biggest declines and people are like fauci mm -hmm. was like i don't know what's going on it's really like, yeah i don't follow the new i don't get it and a dr fauci i know he's the doctor <laughs> shut up fauci, i have no voice. idea what he looks like I He's a little doctor guy. They're always <laughs> a little doctor always guy. Him out. <laughs> yeah, bring Everyone him up. Everyone trusts him up. his opinion, apparently. Who? Dr. Fauci. He's no. like, he might be the surgeon, surgeon general. general. I don't know. Is he the surgeon general? Mind? I don't fucking know. This he guy? He's like Dr. Evil. He's the American physicist scientist. Yeah, Man, this guy. You haven't seen about this guy? a bunch of things today. I love it. This guy's I have all no over idea the news that guy all the time. Type in Dr. Fauci. He kind of looks like Mel Brooks. He's like confused. Doesn't even know what's going on. He said confused. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Why what it? Oh, the, it's down and there's, yeah. isn't there a shitload of, isn't the population high? It's it's a really like dense place for sure. Right? There's like okay. five super, yeah, I think it's like the top five most popular states for sure. It's the biggest state, but I didn't know yeah. about population. Mm -hmm. Yo, so you're telling me that the shit went down. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Can't explain. That's what Good I'm shit. saying. After nixing the mess. All that football. <laughs> football and barbecue yes that's <laughs> what it was about um dude yeah you know what let's do this let's take dabs after because i feel like we're just gonna be here to <laughs> torch in, in people's ear oh, while they drive yeah, and let's sure. like, you want to take a dab let's take it after <laughs> um well dude i want to i want you to tell everybody where can they find you at for the with everything i want to i want to um i know you have your 
not not only like your stuff, like mm-hmm. Eric Khan stuff. I know right. you're you're Anova. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. You can find me uh Eric Khan. Just like look that up on uh it's a little bit hard on Instagram. Eric Khan underscore, you gotta type it in exactly I was trying same to tag thing on you. Twitter. I was sitting here for twenty five yeah. minutes trying to find your phone. It's E R I C K K H A N underscore. Just you one underscore. Band, yeah. Sir. Super shadow band. People tell me that all the time. On YouTube too, I'm a little suppressed, but oh, that's for just sure. what yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty fucking you definitely are. you get you get play just as much as I do. Oh, good shot. Nice. Good picture. I didn't even know you took that. Nice. Damn, Inception. There it is. Yeah, yeah there yeah. it is. Anova is Nova. the uh, brand that I See, have, anova.ig. Yeah, those dabbers right there. That shit's crazy tight. Yeah, the little uh, turf slurper set like, that I, we're smoking on right that, now. Oh, that was that was them. I mean, that's them. That's mm. your shit. Yeah. So that's from an artist you just license, basically buy wholesale. That's such right. a good fucking method, dude. Mm-hmm. I so love all it. these people are local artists in America just and, like doing their thing. Like have super unique styles. Just highlighting stuff. them. Right. So you're like, this is from this. This week's this is from. This week's is from like this artist in this state that makes specializing in these things. So yeah, Nova Smoke is the website. Novasmoke.com. Make sure hey, you check I it like out. Your, your, uh, your uh, logo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank That's you. cool. Yeah, I got it from, uh, so I was sitting in statistics class, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and there's these things called the ANOVA tables. And I was like, I just kept writing it down over and fucking over in class. And I was like, dude, this sounds sick. And I started like a new page in the journal. I was like ANOVA. And I started like drawing the logo and everything. I still have that page where it's like, where I, I just my original first page sketched too. it. Yep. Keep it yeah. forever, dude. For sure. Because you can look back and like, frame it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um. Fuck yeah. Whoa, next drop in. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a little Ooh, countdown for it. That is so sick. Once you sell out of your pieces, it's done, They're right? They're forever, yeah. Every Monday, 4.20 p.m. There's a new drop every fucking Monday. Every Monday. What the <laughs> fuck? You are active, bro. And you're shipping and packing all this yourself? Yeah. Good. Tight. Yeah, it's a good time. Yes. Buying all the stickers and everything and like no, sending it up. I got my homies doing it with me and stuff and we just like smoke and just like pack. It's fun as fuck, honestly. That's great, dude. Good shit. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck man. I yeah. It. No, I, re- I really like it. Like your, your website looks awesome. It's it's to the point. <laughs> you don't need all the fucking bullshit. That looks great. It's right there. It's everything you need. Just the product. I fuck with the mystery boxes. All those boxes over there are mystery boxes. We just, <laughs> we never made the flyer. <laughs> I, just, I need to do that. Marty, can you please remind me after the podcast <laughs> we need to make a flyer? Um, I love that. Great. Good job, man. Good shit. You're on your way to... To, to, to getting your own shit going. Thank I you, love man. that. That's I very appreciate cool. It. Thank you Damn, so much. Every Monday at 420, you're dropping something. Oh, you're oh, nonstop, yeah. man. You know, always yeah. on the grind. I'm so it's surprised a fun time. you were doing that and going to school. It was too much. Yeah, that's going to be too much. much, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. Trying to like source it all the time. You know what I mean? Just so when like you're chilling getting ready. And you have everybody in your employees doing your shit, go back mm. to school. Right. You know what I mean? Get yeah. your shit started. So yeah. by the time you're like hitting 30, you're like, no, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, man. Good <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. So Eric Khan on everything, Anova.ig. We'll put it in the um, description. I don't know if we can even tag your YouTube since it's a fuck weed Aaron, YouTube. Fuck we might it, be dude. It's fuck. all right. You can find it. Eric, Eric Khan, Khan YouTube, YouTube. All right. We'll be too fifty. Um, hopefully. It's it, it'll it'll be there. Don't worry. It'll be there. <laughs> Fucking shit. Um thank you for coming man dude thank, thank you, you for having coming me. and i know really we people are like you guys should take damn shit i thought about it i think youtube's gonna get upset i think they, i think they're gonna get mad true. also yeah we don't want blowtorch in your ear for everybody to too on, loud on it's audio like, do that on live stream like, yeah. Yeah. yeah there you there go is, get some exclusive dab content no that's everything it's everything uh if you go to yeah you get dobazola.com you go to um the podcast every oh, fucking ig oh, yeah, every yeah, single yeah, thing yeah, yeah. dude the website's the best thing we ever did marty Fuck built yeah. it it's that's awesome bomb, dude Dobby's all kinds of it, every single Everything thing goes need. to it oh you yo, content nice yeah yeah yeah. Oh, i can't get to nice. leave i can say whatever the fuck i want post say whatever the fuck you want yes that's amazing. Dude, i fucking love it um well get man welcome to la thank I'm you super brother. hyped for you man thank you um thank you so much fuck Fuck! Here we go. Let's take more dabs. All right, let's take some more dabs, dude. Let's thank, do it. Thank you so let's much for being content. here. This is be one of many. I'm assuming, guys. I didn't want to go too long. Like Mari told me the other day, I think we're gonna start leaving people wanting more. I go, you're yes. right. Three to four hour podcast, or maybe we're getting everything out. You're right. You're completely <laughs> fucking right. It's like episodes, longevity. I mm-hmm. gotcha. And they're hard to edit. It mm-hmm. took 23 True. fucking to- hours to export and upload. Wow, and you have to watch every single second of it. So it's like if it's a three, four. Already takes on this responsibility. We got the four camera angles going. Oh, upload only. Upload alone is 
It was eleven dollars <laughs> yeah. yesterday. Yeah, what the shit? Just to upload. Wow. Holy shit. To YouTube. Eleven hours. Eleven fucking hours. I see you always have problems too. Yeah. Oh, dude. This will YouTube be, never be like tomorrow myself. upload. It'll just be running all day. His, yeah. his shit. Processing, processing, and it's like crazy. There's not a lot you can do for it. No, nope. I know it's insane. You can just sit there and feel so powerless. You're like, bro, come on. I'm gonna leave too. I'm, I'm leaving. You come back and upload it. <laughs> it happens all the fucking time. Sorry, I know our, our uh, outros are the longest things ever. Uh, welcome to LA. I'm stoked for you. Good shit. You got a lot of shit going. I'm I'm hyped, guys. This is Eric Khan. Thank you so much. You guys have been asking non fucking stop. So here it is. All right. It was fun. Let's take some more dabs. Let's chill. Let's do. It. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another episode of the Dope as Usual podcast. I'm Dope Ziola. Have a dope ass day. Whoo, dude, dude, dude. No more dabs right before we start. <laughs> First five minutes, I was going, huh? Fuck, fuck. All right, podcast. Nice. <laughs> Yo, that cricket. That was loud. It stopped. It was so fucking loud, though. Yo, it was in my ear. You can Do you think it's too. like up there or something? Dude. Fuck, it's crazy.